good morning or good evening if you're in Europe. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. How is everyone doing today? Making sure, I think this might be the first time I haven't started with a mistake. <laughs> uh, I want to thank y'all for being here. Obviously, I don't normally stream on Saturdays, but I'm all by myself today. And I figure I will, uh, I will give myself a, a slight break from editing and uh, we'll play some Timberborn instead. So <laughs> like the hoodie, thank you so much. Yeah, this is, this is uh, actually the, it's, it's the, the shirt that you could buy from the store. I, uh, I designed this one. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. So uh, thank you all so much for being here. Um, I want to start out by asking where you guys are all from, what you're drinking. I'm drinking a Tim Hortons coffee. So that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, let's see, let's start out with Twitch. Where are you guys at today? And in the meantime, I want to let you know, today we are going to play Timberborn. And then uh, I want to talk a little bit about the AI discussion as well. Just a real brief bit because I've landed on something. So we got Philly, San Diego, Sweden, Boston, Brazil, Ontario, Clearwater, Florida, San Diego, OKC, Austin, Santa Barbara, Portland, Seattle, Sweden, Cleveland, upstate New York, Southern Oregon, snowy. We don't have snow here. Uh, Toronto, Nashville, West Lafayette. Washington, Cincinnati, Houston, Copenhagen, Germany, Appleton, Wisconsin, love it. Poland, Minnesota, Indiana, Germany, Twin Cities, Sugarland, Puerto Rico, Australia, <laughs> Australia, Vancouver. Thank you all so much for being here. And over on YouTube, let me see where you guys are coming in from. It is Spain, Ukraine, UK, Chile, Chile, uh, Poland, or Warsaw, Poland, Algeria, the Netherlands, Raleigh. France, Philly, North Carolina, Texarkana. Half my family's from that area. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, I'm up Atlanta, Texas, actually. Houston, Philly, Bangkok, Paris, Philippines, Czech Republic, Raspberry Lemonade. <laughs> Toronto, Dresden, Oklahoma City, Lithuania, Scotland. Thank you all so much for being here. Appreciate you all. So again, like I mentioned, the first thing I want to start out with is I want to, I want to leave with a capstone on the whole discussion of AI, because I gave it a lot of thought. The conversation that we had in the last one did not go unnoticed. All of the comments did not go unnoticed. I internalized a lot of it, and I've come out on the other side feeling like what I did was wrong. So I'm trying actively right now to replace that video and change, uh, uh, basically remove the, the AI voice from it. So uh, the reason I got there is because of many thoughtful comments that basically said, this is the problem with it. And the problem was basically, I was looking at it as, I don't want to, I don't want to upset paradox and colossal order with making their characters say things that maybe they didn't want. And from that was that, that was not the only perspective I should have been looking at. I should have been thinking about the, the actual voice actor. And someone mentioned at one point that voice actor didn't get paid for this. That voice actor um, would be completely unaware of this happening. And that's why the actor strike happened. And I can't support the actor strike and their ability to get paid for their work. And at the same time, use tools that are actively undermining them. So um, it sucks. I mean, as a creator, I think that what I always want to do is create cool things and share my perspective. So if for whatever reason I, I see a tool like that, I think my first inclination is to rush towards it and make the coolest thing I can, I can make. So that was why I ended up doing it. That said... Um, I, I appreciate the discussion. And I think that uh, for anyone who's having those discussions, you're going to have to keep having them. And I think that it's it's the sort of thing that uh, isn't going to end until there's some, oh my goodness. Stylist, thank you so much for the gifted subs. That is super generous of you, 10 gifted subs. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm not going to use it anymore. Um, the other place that I have... Uh, landed basically is that there is a place for ai to be used as a tool uh so that means that you can't use it as the output so i don't think that the output should ever be ai the way that you should be using it is uh let's say you want to like for the for the images if, if, I, if I have character art i can generate character art give it to my artist and have them put something together if i wanted to uh, have a shot if i were a director if i were a writer and I was working with a director generating a video of the shot and then giving that to the director to actually create themselves, that's an appropriate use for it. And then as far as the voice generators, I think that the appropriate way would have been on my trip actually. 
So I don't think I, I, I didn't really explain this, what happened. On my trip, I took a whole bunch of audio gear with me, like an idiot, because I had one uh, video to work on. In fact, I ended up taking, uh, an, uh, hold on, hold on. I took, so I took, I took this with me, and I took this with me, and I took an XLR cable, and I ended up being stopped by TSA for having a weapon. So they pull me aside and they go, uh, sir, sir, I need to know what's in this case. And he's examining it. Oh, microphone, not a weapon. <laughs> so that was a, yeah, that was a thing. Um, but I could have used it in that instance. Cause I, the reason I took that all is if I needed to redo a line or something uh, in, in the video, I wanted to be able to do it in high quality but I could have actually cloned my own voice and redone like three words. And you might've noticed, you might not have, and it's my own voice. I give myself consent. So it's certainly, it's given me a lot to mull over. So for everyone who participated in that discussion in a respectful and thoughtful way and provided lots of insight and, and thought into their perspectives, I appreciate you. Thank you all so much. And uh, yeah. Mike on X-ray looks very strange. It was. <laughs> so I want to thank you all for that, 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 that thoughtful discussion. And there will be other people that narrate. I don't know if it'll be RCE, but I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. And it, it, some of it will be members of the community. Um, it, it's made me think about who I could leverage for these things. And there are so many people watching the videos that why not ask members of the community and pay them for the for that op opportunity and maybe even give them demo material if they wanted to get into voiceover so yeah that's 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 where i've landed so uh for everyone who has given bits and subbed holy thank you thank you so uh before we jump in i'm gonna recap a little bit well first of all i i want to know do you guys feel okay is that do you guys feel comfortable with that sounds fun newscaster needs a local midwestern accent yeah i, I mean I, I think that would make sense uh that or canadian <laughs> <laughs> so uh you love that idea good 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 uh makes sense to you sounds really neat yeah so i that's that's where i landed so the video is still up right now i'm trying i'm trying to replace it it's tough like you've got to ask youtube to replace these things and it, they you know sometimes they'll do it sometimes they won't so we will see uh in the, if they don't replace it that leaves me in a weird spot because i don't know if i should take it down or preface and add a, add a warning that the first two minutes and nine seconds has generated voices. Um, my concern is that if I take it down, it'll actually tank the entire series. So it's kind of a weird spot to be in right now. I'm hoping YouTube makes it easy for me. <laughs> and this is this is streaming, so they should see that at some point. Now, ad break in two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, that is helpful. So in the meantime, I will, let's let's go back and take a look, not at the chair, <laughs> but I was looking and we're going to make it, we're going to make a chair, <laughs> a chair emote for Twitch. Um, we are going to go and take a look at this. And I've been thinking about the goal of this. The goal of this is going to be, I want to make the most beautiful and the biggest um, uh, beaver community that I've ever made. So the, the largest beaver community I've ever made is a little under 200. So I want to get to 300 by the end of this. And I want it to actually be attractive because I haven't always focused on that. Yes, thank you so much. I will change the tag. Uh, Timberborn. There we go. Done. We're, we're, we're good now. We're, we're good. Um, so in the previous one, we did just a little bit. We basically stabilized things. We've got water. We've got gear production now, although we don't, we don't have storage for gears. Just thinking about that. We've got a lumber supply that is becoming sustainable. We are close to metals. Uh, we've got a way to divert our bad water. So we've got this floodgate though. I do think we need to channelize this and send it this way. And then there was a number of you mentioning, oh, good greetings from, greetings from Greece, greetings, greetings, thank you. Yes, good to see you live, or good, good to be with you live as well. Um, and then there were a number of people mentioning that there's a way to automate this using mods. I didn't bring in mods yet, I wanted to, but um, 
Tim, the Thunderstore doesn't have as many as I, I thought that they would. Um, and most of them are on that, uh, what is it, mods.io or something like that. So haven't investigated that just yet. So yeah, I, I will keep it respectful. That's one of the things I actually want to work towards today is mod.io. That's it. Um, I want to work on getting to landscaping. So that's going to be our goal today. Ads are going to start on Twitch in 10 seconds. So I'm going to go through the activity feed and thank everyone who has uh, dropped cheers and bits and whatnot. So um, after that, we'll get building right away. We will resume this thing and uh, start speed running towards landscaping. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Kiss and Jinx. I better press this button so I won't forget to share it. <laughs> Hail the king of the stream share. Thank you so much. Um, so, Greta, thank you so much for the uh, for the cheer. Jennifer, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, Phoenix Captain, thank you for going from a prime sub to a tier one. Uh, that's three months. So thank you so much. South Bend, Indiana. Great little town. Uh, Wordlock, thank you so much for the, for the biddies. And Silex, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs once again. That's super generous of you. I just, wow. <laughs> super cool. Uh, Soul Fury, thank you so much for the Prime. Focus HD, thank you for the Prime. Science Dude, thank you for the bits. Uh, Assassin, the Assassin, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Three months. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, Loizotas, Greg Loizotas, Loizotas Greg, thank you so much for the Prime. Uh, Kamrowski, thank you so much for the Tier 1. Mass Poland, thank you so much for the Prime. Johnny, thank you so much for the Tier 1 resub. And Bros, thank you so much for the Prime as well. And John, DJ John Mary, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the cheer. Appreciate you. Um, I going to say something. For anyone who is now a sub, I do have the next video up. I just haven't shared the link. <laughs> so as soon as we're done on stream, I'm going to share the, uh, the next video. It is a rough cut, but it's pretty close to where it needs to be. The only thing I want to do in the last stream, Cuboid pop jumped in and gave some, some things I should think about with SimCity uh, 2020, 2013. And I want to add on to my conclusion of that video. So if you want to check it out in its current state, it's going to be out there. I will leave you guys a link. Uh, <laughs> YouTube and Twitch can't watch both. <laughs> I know that's why I'm not giving you guys a link right now. I don't want you to leave the stream. <laughs> So I will give you that link uh, in just a little bit. So anyone, YouTube channel members, anyone, uh, Twitch Twitch subs, patrons, uh, everyone. Uh, Max, thank you so much uh, for the super chat. So excited for the stream. I just started playing Timberborn because of my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Max. Uh, really, really, really generous of you. All right. So I believe that we are ready to start going. Max, I hope you're having as much fun with this as I am. It's, a, it's in my opinion one of it's one of my favorite games uh, when I, I mentioned this in the last stream but when i was in arizona i am a late night person and i sleep less than everyone else in my family so the the net result of that is i played this basically every day so every every single night for a few hours and i built up a pretty massive uh colony maverick you've been playing a lot of timberborn lately too dj john mary you have also been playing it a lot sager good to see you here buddy uh so we are going to I need to get some gear storage and I want the gear storage for one specific reason. I want to get these large water, uh, water tanks or the medium tanks. So I think we have plenty of science for that. We'll just get going with this. And we'll place one of them right there. And I think I'll also put a platform here with uh, maybe a medium warehouse. This is just for the gears. So there we go. Uh, does this game slow down at, the, at a certain size colony? It hasn't for me. I was playing on a laptop the entire time. Uh, so it's a gaming laptop, you know, for sure. But it still was just fine. All right. In terms of power, oh, we don't have any. We don't have enough beavers. That was the other thing. We've got a whole bunch of baby beavers. Uh, the other thing you might notice, if you are a YouTube channel member, patron, or a Twitch subscriber, as of two days ago, I added everyone's name right here. So you're going to start to see names populating in here. So that's why we have uh, Ricardo ne Neville uh, showing up, growing up, and contributing to our little beaver colony. So, 
Uh, at 400 beavers, it slows down on your PC? Okay. I've never gotten there. <laughs> I see. You think that you this is a game you'd like to watch someone play, but not that, that one that you like to play yourself? I could see that. I, I find this game to be... It's both relaxing and stressful, if that makes any sense. You love the timing of the stream? Perfect for all of uh, all of you guys in Europe. Uh, I will I will be upfront and say that I feel like I've been really mean to you guys. <laughs> and you guys are still showing up, so I felt like it made sense to, to do that. Oh, I need to unlock Iron Teeth. So I need to diversify my food supply. I mentioned that in the previous one that I... Never actually used sunflowers for anything. <laughs> so this is the first time, and it was all inspired by you guys. So the average health needs to be 15, I think. And I can't recall. Where do we get to see that? Well, I know we're not there. We're at about eight, it looks like. So we'll try to work towards that. Maybe before we expand too much, we'll unlock Iron Teeth. Where's the beer? I got I've got the Tim Hortons. <laughs> My favorite Canadian coffee. Can I put it in shrubs? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, we have a we have a decent enough lumber supply now that I don't see why I can't decorate a bit. The only thing is I don't know how high these are going just yet. And I don't even know that we're settled on this. We're probably going to take over this little area right here and try to do some of our beautification. So we've got plenty of berries over here. Although reasonably we're probably going to take this and turn this into power production so maybe that maybe there is some value in starting to think about what we're doing with some of these things down the line and making adjustments you know that wisconsinite needs a bloody i'm gonna admit something i just don't like bloodies i try i try the last bloody i had i went to a badger basketball game with my brother-in-law maybe four years ago and it was at uh, Waldo's or Wando's uh, downtown, and that was that was the last bloody I've had. <laughs> it was, can't 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 do it. Can't do it. Tim Hortons is the right call. You're drinking yours right now too, as well, Phoenix. It is the right call. All right, let's get this stuff built. I just that's I'm 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 painfully slow at getting some of this stuff done. Bloody with a Miller Lite. But. Just for you, bros. I will I will uh I will give another one a shot. You got your blueberry fitter? You're a bad Canadian, not a fan of Timmy's. That sounds like you're 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 not being a good Canadian right there. I'm being a better Canadian than you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start uh, I want to lay out this project right here. I'm going to set the priority really low because I love to prioritize everything. You guys know that. So what I will do is going to be a gigantic levy for most of it. I think we'll do something like this. Do I need to? Oh, it's one. It's only one layer, so it's not that bad. And then we'll set up the floodgate. And priority is low. So the whole pr purpose of this is straight up to be able to divert everything over no other purpose so we we will keep this down most of the time uh you got timmy's in the uk now not as good as starbucks or or Cot uh, costa i don't know what costa is but that's that's being rude starbucks isn't that good <laughs> you're gonna lime lacroix uh, I, I, jd biz are you are you a wisconsinite is that was that why you're drinking lacroix uh, we have not had bad waters come through yet, but I feel like I feel like it's only a matter of time. Why are you not producing gears? Are we out of? Do we have storage? Oh, we have we have planks right here, just hanging out. That's why. Uh, Costa Coffee is UK coffee brand, possibly the biggest. Interesting. You know, maybe what I've got to do is see if I can get it shipped over here. Costa's good. Your current save has 260 beavers, 280 bots. It has dropped about 5 FPS on average legs and building paths. Interesting. Dropped. So has it dropped to 5 FPS on average? Or it has dropped 5, BS, uh, 5 FPS total? Okay. 
Coast has large cups of cheap coffee. That's my favorite kind. I'm I am a I'm the guy who I, I'm not very I'm not a very sophisticated coffee drinker. I'm I'm completely fine with cheap gas station coffee. <laughs> so I, I I you know quick trip coffee. I'm all about it. Dropped by five FPS total. That's good. Thumper, you're getting buffering. Uh, if you're getting buffering, you might want to pop on over to, to YouTube. And I, I know that one thing that some people will do is they will uh, pop out chat on Twitch and watch on YouTube. So not that I'm supporting that, Twitch. <laughs> but it's a thing that you could do if that's what you wanted to. I should put in a log storage. Let's do that right now. The other thing, I should I should start laying out some of this power. We're not really doing anything with all, all those berries back here. So here we go. I'll put this. This will just be for logs. Um, I'm going to close that up to focus the water this way and we've uh, I'm going to pause one of these this is a long drought so this one's not going to be good we also aren't going to be producing anything over here so let's see I'm going to wipe all of this stuff out and yeah uh, you bought Bought a bean to cup machine during COVID to get your coffee fix, save tons of money. I the like I I I have a Starbucks gift card and I have not used it because I just don't go to anything that's expensive. Coffee is one of those things where I love coffee, but I just I don't I don't feel the need to have the fanciest coffee in the world. Maybe I just maybe I just don't appreciate it enough. Uh Rager Ryan, you're doing the exact same thing with Twitch, having the chat out here and the watching on YouTube. Yeah, it's, the only thing that stinks about that is then you're behind 15 seconds, but you get 4K, so yeah. Starbucks prices are silly. So I think my, my kids will go to like Target and they'll see uh, the Starbucks. They're like, can we get a hot cocoa or something? It's like, ugh, it's five bucks it just seems like way too much for uh, for a beverage. You're not a coffee drinker, but your dad is. So you shipped a coffee maker to your house so he can drink whatever he's... That's thoughtful of you. That's actually a uh, funny, funny story. That's what I got my dad for for Christmas this year. Um, he's had the same coffee maker since I was a kid. And it just kind of... just I, I felt like he needed to elevate his coffee game. So I have, a, I have a nice coffee maker. That's a nice ninja coffee maker that has the removable basin. And I, I really like it. So I got him the exact same one. You used to be a massive coffee snob, but nowadays you find both cheap and fancy coffee have their place. Yeah. The Starbucks coffee leaves me feeling shaky. That's the primary reason that I don't like it. It's also the reason I don't like... I'm a medium roast person. I feel like all dark roasts make me shake. <laughs> make me feel just like... Argh, terrible. You've made Tina drip coffee maker? Really? I mean, I have a, I have a tea kettle. And I, I, I do drink tea. That it's a it's a secret. Some of us Americans drink tea a lot too. <laughs> but um, yeah, certainly not as much as, as as some people. All right, I'm gonna start setting up some windmills so that we can operate things all day. And I want to make this efficient and effective. Let's get rid of that. And we have everything that we need, so it shouldn't take long. And eventually, it will probably replace all of these. There we go. Uh, UKT is the best. So, okay, okay. If we're going to drink tea, what kind of tea, what brand should I be drinking? So my, my wife is the one who picks the tea. Yorkshire? Okay. I will, I will, uh, I need to start having, uh, I, I use one note. I think I've, I've been pretty open about that. I'm leaving, I'm leaving that 
chat notes and Yorkshire tea is going right next to getting the Edmund Fitzgerald beer. And maybe the next time I stream on a Saturday morning, I will drink some tea. Twinnings is available in the US, but Yorkshire is the best. I will I will add that as well. And if I can't find Yorkshire, we have a at my at my uh, grocery store, there's an international aisle. So I'm hoping if it's not by the tea, I could just find it there. We'll see. Running out of uh, we're running out of water. Hmm. I don't want to do this, but I, I think I have to. We've only got two days left. I'll pump from here. Hopefully that won't kill everything off. Fingers crossed. I should have closed this too. I totally screwed that up. So <laughs> next time. Twinnings is good. You think I should. Uh, tinned rice pudding. I don't know about that. If I'm doing. If I'm doing tinned rice pudding, I'm going to make you do some. Uh, make you guys pick up some pretty. Eclectic things as well that I've had. Um, so when I was a kid, my mom had these little, she would go and get these little tins of cow tongue. It's the most strange thing you'll ever have. It was cow tongue in a tin and she would put it on, on crackers. Um, so I don't know if you guys have ever had anything like that, but I imagine that, uh, pudding from a tin is probably very, <laughs> it's as a, as a, an acquired taste pickled herring, pickled herring's fine. I, I also like sardines in a tin. Is there German beer at my grocery store? Not at my grocery store, but at my at my liquor store. I mean, it's it's Wisconsin. I live within a couple blocks of two liquor stores, so it's plenty of options for beer. If I ever go to Minnesota, visit Dogwood Coffee in Minneapolis and try a pour over. I could. I could. It's been a while since I've been to, to Minnesota, truthfully. I used to go a lot. I mean, I'm from northern Wisconsin, so the big city for me was the Twin Cities. So whenever I go to a concert, that's where it was. But now that I'm in southern Wisconsin, I just never get there. What beer do I have over here? I don't know. I've, you, I tell you what. If you give me a beer to look for, I will look for it. Caviar in a tube. That's a thing? That sounds terrible. <laughs> Not at all interested. <laughs> all right, we got we can, we can start pumping water. I think, I don't know why we have not finished this thing yet. We're working hard on this, even though this was low priority. Whatever. <laughs> uh, Tetley is it a Canadian choice. Okay. Oh, you know what? I like Canadians, so uh, that'll be that'll be number three. It's not regular caviar; it's such a, it's ca uh, caviar. It's a different thing. Uh, Pollinier beer. You guys, I feel like you're putting together my shopping list right now, and it's going to be 100% beer and tea. And my wife is going to wonder what the hell I'm doing with my time. <laughs> You're like you're looking for international teas and beers. We just need eggs. That's all we need. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> Tangy and delicious. Uh, you don't know if it's up north, so you have mango cart. What does that sound familiar? I wonder if I had that when I was in Florida. Because I had some mango beer. I, so... Basically, no one liked it but me. So everyone else passed on the mango beer that I had, and it was it was 100% mine. Prepare. Uh, taste the Be uh, Belgian staple foods. Spiced raw beef uh, eaten in sandwiches or just with a spoon out of a tub. Interesting. Belgian. Okay. Well, on my shopping list, I currently have seven items. 
<laughs> so we're looking good. And we finally starting to get some move. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. What's going on? Oh, you know what it is? This isn't prioritized. And we're out of planks. So now we should finally start seeing some movement. The only problem is these aren't moving very fast because the heights are off. So that should help us. Um, What else? I want to start unlocking paper. We're going to need paper for better power at some point and definitely for explosions or explosives rather. Uh, flooding. Yeah, there's a little bit of flooding, but it's fine. It's it's only momentary. I've learned not to freak out when I see flooding. Uh, what the heck is with my shopping list? The internet people suggested exactly. <laughs> my wife will understand. She's an understanding person. Uh, does my canal have an opening to let water get to my pumps? Yeah. I do need to ear. I never think to do that. And the other thing I'm not doing that I always forget to do is beehives. So I probably should unlock beehives at some point as well. Uh, when does power go underneath the roads? Once we have explosives. Once we have explosives, that is a great idea. We should put all the power underneath the roads and irrigate the heck out of this. We should blast out all of the roads right here. The other thing I want to do, uh, I had a lot of fun actually digging holes with uh, what is it? the dirt ex excavator. So I want to get to all of it. <laughs> uh, no beehives unlock bots. Okay. Otherwise, you end up with injured beavers. In oh, do they get stung now? I mean, that would make a lot of sense. A shower. Actually, that's... We should be thinking about the, the beavers' well-being. So let's, let's unlock this. Because we're kind of in a holding pattern until we get some of these things done. I think I should be able to place that, like, right here. Or something of that nature. Maybe... Let's we'll place that right here for now. And this is at one plank and ten logs. We will we will treat our beavers with some respect. The other thing. Why are we doing this? We we have like. Okay, I, I see what they're doing. So they're working towards this one first. You freaked out after you found out blue Doritos were sold at your local grocery store? Well, they taste terrible. I can imagine. <laughs> So what is blue flavor? Uh, and have I tried Furthest on Frontier? I, I have. I have. We have a Twitch ad break. So I'm going to probably just kind of hang out for a quick second. Uh, City Planner Chair, thank you for the resub. <laughs> appreciate you. Uh, Adam the Useless, you're not useless to me. Thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate you being here. And High Fly Aviator, thank you so much for the Tier 1. Appreciate you. Uh, cool Ranch. Wait, 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 wait. That's what you mean by Blue Doritos? Cool Ranch are the best Doritos. The only thing that has ruined Cool Ranch for me was... I can't... I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> it's one of the... It's one of the... Well, I'll just say it's one of the first things that got my... We had an incident at a, at a school picnic. And that ruined Cool Ranch Doritos for me for a little bit. But we're good now. <laughs> so... This is an inc incredible, oh, oh, spicy, spicy sweet chili is better than Cool Ranch? I don't know that I, no, no. They call Cool Ranch Cool American Flavor International. <laughs> I can see that. That's kind of funny. That's, that's funny. All right. How far can this reach? Not far enough. So I was thinking, we've, we've, I put these dandelions right here, but there's really nothing else to grab. So that was kind of a, a silly location for these. 
So we might need to re rethink that. Call it cool Midwest flavor. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's sleeping on salsa verde Doritos. We'll have to have a Dorito taste test one day. I'll let you guys know what I think. Sweet, spicy sweet chili are good, but they get old. Yeah, it's cool ranch is always good. All right. I think we've got enough food and water now that I'm going to expand once again. Now, I was successful over my trip because I didn't expand too fast, which I, I have a tendency to do. So if, if I start going a little ham and doing silly things, let me know. Tell me to calm down. <laughs> because, because I won't. I'll just keep going. And... There we go. We are we're starting to make an apartment building, which I probably shouldn't be doing. Because I, I I've talked about beauty, and I wouldn't call this thing beautiful. <laughs> Very utilitarian. <laughs> uh if I had a am I am I a big am I a big breakfast guy? I am. Today I didn't have one though. My breakfast, I'm a, a liquid breakfast, just coffee. And I guess I guess I also had my multivitamin and my I have vitamin D and my multivitamin. That that has been like that is it. Uh this is iron. Yeah. Because I have anemia. So yeah, that that's all I've had for breakfast. Normally though, I mean I'm I'm the type of person that loves to have um I like hash browns a lot. So I, I air fry hash browns. Um and I'll make a couple of eggs or I'll just I have an egg cooker, so sometimes I'll make a, I'll just make some eggs and have them all ready uh vitamin d is very important yeah yeah and especially like you know being half black um just it's it's something that i i just need to be acutely aware of if i don't have enough vitamin d and iron i just feel exhausted coffee and cigarettes are the best <laughs> well that would make this that would make this not uh not pg here if i was just smoking cigarettes first of all my wife would kick me out second of all uh yeah it, 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 it changes the vibe Roofs and rooftop terraces. We actually could have a rooftop terrace now. And we have them unlocked. What size are they? That's the thing. It's a weird size for what we're doing. Unless we do something like this. Get a view of the storage behind you. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do we'll do something like this. And I'm just going to keep going hard because you guys are convincing me that it's a good idea. Okay. Now I know that I've gone too far. And I need we're going to if we're not careful, we'll run out of water and food. Yeah, I'll probably need more water for all those new beavers that come with those. Yeah, so let's go ahead And build a couple more of these. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of that there. That should do the trick for us. Not some stairs, though. That won't. Okay. Uh, Put a path in the building and the terrace to support it. Did I miss? Oh, I did. I did. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. There we go. And probably one more pump. I agree. We will definitely have the beavers for it soon. And we have a drought coming, so this isn't a bad thing. I can't believe we keep getting droughts and not bad water. Now this time, it's still not done. It's all my fault. Let's... It's not needed yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is probably more of a necessity. So we're going to race towards this. And there. 
Uh, oh, 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 it is a bad time. I missed that. <laughs> okay, this is our highest priority then. And everything else can chill out. Bad tide, bad tide. Does bad tide get uh, delayed compared to droughts? Yeah, no swimming. Uh, so yeah, it. I, th I think it does. It gives you a little bit of time to prepare, thankfully. Um, but now that we have one coming, we've gotta we've gotta take care of this right away. Hopefully, no uh, triple Vey clones this time. <laughs> Vey, it's good to see you here. Thanks for being here. Uh, and science dude, thank you for the uh, the bits and the warning about the bad tide. <laughs> Turn up the work hours. Good call. You're going to work 24-7 to get this thing done. So once we have this, it'll kill some of these trees. And I don't think I really... I didn't give this the thought I should have. So we need to move our oaks down to here. And take... We'll put our oaks where our birch is. And we'll move our birch up here. Because they grow back faster. So that, that would make a ton more sense. Don't kill 70% of my beavers like RCE did. There's a chance. Although we're getting close. We, we're, we're six planks away from not killing all of our beavers. But we are like right on the edge right now. Stop making gears. And get over here and build this. <laughs> oh, it's so close. And then we need to take that all the way down. Oh, not just RCE. You lo RCE, you lost the majority of your population the first couple of bad tides as well. Bad tides as well. So did Biffa. So did I. <laughs> so I didn't fully understand what the bad tides were going to do. And I had all of my beavers just swimming right through them. And yeah, bad situation. Come on, guys. Build it, build it, build it, build it. We're so close. What is going on? Oh, come on. Just get over there. They pass out? Oh, no. Oh, please just go and build it quickly. Oh, we got it. <laughs> oh, I sh well, so I don't have any builders. I just have four, uh, four of these at the district center. So four beavers at the dis district center. So that's what I was really banking on. At this point, I'm also going to, oh, this is a really short bad tide. So I'll just, I'm not going to worry about anything, but you can see that we are totally safe. Everything is fine. Yeah. <laughs> no need to pause the bumps. It will be done in half a day, but we would have killed everything and everybody. So we got, we, yeah, we got lucky. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. That was, <laughs> thankfully we got lucky. We got real lucky. That, yeah, that couldn't have been closer. That got my heart racing. I, I, I like that. I like that. Uh, let's see. What's next? Well, now we can get back to, to this, which I think is the, the next most important. Thing. All right. Bad tide ends. We'll let this thing clear, and then we'll open it back up. Successful. Successful. Oh, yes. Thank you for the reminder on the working hours. Yes, we, we are we are letting him relax again. And once that clears through, we'll be good to go. Loving it. We'll also bring that back because we're going to need those gears. <laughs> Biffa, good to see you in here, buddy. How you doing? I had Biffa on Twitch. Holy cow. <laughs> love it, love it. How many, how many beavers did you kill today? I almost killed a bunch, Biffa. <laughs> but thankfully, thankfully we're good. Yeah, speaking of the devil, the man himself is here. Too many. <laughs> I killed so many on break. And of course, when you when you have people's real names in here or their or their or their pseudonyms, the last thing you want to do is kill them. I mean, there, there are names in here that I really, I, I've recognized for years. Jeremy Sims, for instance. Jeremy Sims has been a supporter forever. I don't want to kill him. So, uh, still, we have some bad water just sitting here. I think it's going to be fine. 
We'll open it back up. All right, let's just let it flow. It'll make its way through the system. Uh, next time, maybe I could store some water in, uh, in the above reservoir. Where are, you, where, where are you seeing this? We need to make a reservoir for sure. But I don't know what you're talking about. At least I didn't send them to die. Yes. In between my floodgates. Oh, right here. That would have made a ton of sense. Next time I will do that. I also need to figure out how to automate these things. You guys had mentioned that there, I could use the steam gauge to automate. So it can measure the depth. So if I place this next to the floodgate, will it then it, it'll allow me to automate things or yeah, right here. We will, we will store water right here in the future. I don't have the mod. I thought there was a way to do it without the mod mod for automation. Okay. Well, now I'm sad I didn't get the mod. <laughs> Need to hire a hydrologist. <laughs> that would help. RCE is a monster, Biffa. <laughs> and Kiss and Jinx, thank you so much for uh, gifting Biffa a sub. Appreciate you. Biffa, you now have early access to my videos. <laughs> All you have to do is hop on my uh, on my Discord if you want to be in one more Discord. <laughs> RC basically created a uh, a leper colony. I've done that. I've, I've definitely I've definitely had half of my beavers completely unable to do anything, all because I decided to go a little bit too hard on uh, forcing my beavers to go through bad water, thinking I could get away with one. You can't. You love 10,000 discords? I have so many discords right now. Uh, such a such a ridiculous number of them. Um, let me think. Yeah. Uh, I've got crowd control, all these other ones. I just started adding them to folders. And now as, as long as I've got tons of folders, I'm good to go. And obviously some of my favorites like the bucks <laughs> so but i've tried to organize i've been leaving them uh more and more routinely rce is the best architect i agree rce is the best architect he just doesn't want to admit it <laughs> you love being able to mute discords you get too stressed by all the notifications uh listen I am a notification. I, I I just don't even care anymore. I'm the guy who has a hundred thousand emails. I kid you not. I have a hundred thousand unread emails, and uh, at some point, you just become numb to all the notifications, and that's that's where I'm at these days. I'm I'm a monster. <laughs> so at this point, once once you've crossed that threshold. You just, you don't look back. You just stop caring. <laughs> JD Bizzle, uh, you have the zero. Un it's the only way I'm ever going to get to zero is if I delete all of my, all of my emails, uh, all of my email accounts and just start over. Science, dude, you're off to the zoo. Thank you for being here. Have a good time at the zoo. Uh, Caribbean, you have Duolingo bugging you. So I have on my iPhone, the, the other thing. So not only do I have all of the unread emails, but I have, uh, I have iOS telling me to buy more storage so I can back up my iPhone. And I just, I'm not, I'm not paying you Apple. Let me get rid of the notification. It's just not going to happen. I don't care that much. So as a result, it's just kind of, it's because I can't get rid of that one or I can't figure it out. I just, I stop caring. One of your company's customers has 10,000 unread emails or more. Amateur hour. <laughs> you had to clean out, clean out your promotion folder in Gmail. 17,000 emails. Honestly, I should do that. That would, that would, well, it's not going to matter. I mean, I'll, at this point, it just says 99 plus or whatever it says. 
You just mark all of yours on your iPhone as red to get rid of the icon. Let's see. What does mine say right now? It says, oh, I don't have all of my emails on my iPhone. So right now it's just, I'm, I'm down to 36,793 emails on red. So that seems manageable. 36,000. I could just turn off the badge icon that that's, you know what? That's what I'll do. I'll just <laughs> Phoenix 10,951. You cleared them all out in November. See, it is completely futile. Why even bother <laughs> at that point? You might as well just not even bother. We are going to, I need more, more planks. The never ending battle. Let's just, let's go absolutely nuts on him. And then I'm going to switch over this road's location. And we'll do paper on the end. And I'll put that low priority. There we go. Just drives me nuts. I think that's what we're missing for all of these. Yeah, planks for everything. We, we should be... Are we cutting down enough? Maybe that's the other problem. We just don't have enough lumber right now. Another gear wart workshop while I'm at it? <laughs> I, I feel like... I feel like if I do that... I mean, I've already got a lot. I will add one at some point. I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> I should put a levy in front of the water wheels to create a choke point. Oh. That is a great idea. So you're thinking. Something like that. So eventually I want to blast this out so we can have a third one right here. But for now, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. 98,000 emails. <laughs> well, I feel like I just want to send you 300 more so you can get to, so you can get to 100,000. <laughs> oh, yeah, natural lighting reveal. It's the daytime for me, so I can I can have natural lighting. I've got a window. So I'm looking right now at the Elgato prompter, and that's where my camera is, and above that is a little window. So, yeah. What is Biff is trying to help me. What is he trying to help me with? All right, I got to go back. Oh, 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 oh. Biffa doesn't want people to help me. Oh, everyone's been super nice. <laughs> Thankfully. Unfortunately, we're at a, a holding pattern right now. <laughs> I want more. I want more wood. So. We'll just do what we can to access it. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> Biffa, you don't want to be alone in, in your uh, experience of letting uh, bees, beavers through tough times. <laughs> I will certainly mod this. Oh, that's another thing I need to put in my one note. Mod.io. Okay. So now you guys have given me my shopping list, which is half tea, half beer, uh, some meat products and and a modding website. <laughs> so it's it's gonna be an interesting shopping trip. All right, let's see. Add a couple more lumberjacks. And we've got one beaver overhead. So it's not great. Also watching uh, Biffa's Tower of Power. And the bad time started. Oh, I saw that. I didn't finish that one yet, though. The Tower of Power. Love it. You had some cold brew coffee and Guinness. Cold brew coffee Guinness the other week. Guinness makes coffee? Or is it a Guinness with cold brew? Which sounds interesting. Oh, I do need to mark the trees. At least these ones over here. We're not we're not there yet, but we're working our way towards it. And what are these guys doing? 
it's just it's just slow going right now and the funny thing is we've got all these logs over here maybe we need haulers we don't have any overhead yet ah oh. we're just we're just in plank landia just waiting for it unfortunately that's where we're at we will build a hauling post because i just i i love to torture myself and build all these things that i'm thinking about and just never be able to do them because i'm already beavers and if we had the beavers we would starve so like it's it's probably for the best that it's not working out but that doesn't mean i'm gonna keep i'm not gonna keep trying let's back this out let's we need to start making things pretty so i can't do anything besides decorations and stuff so we might as well, we'll unlock the the uh We'll unlock the hedge. What a great use of my science points. <laughs> there, we'll leave a we'll leave a little garden right there. <laughs> Am I gonna switch positions of the oak? Oh yes, yes. Once these completely grow in, I will uh, I will swap these out. So what I will do. I'll stop these from planting. We'll do the exact same thing over here. And honestly, so these are chestnuts. So we should probably have another gatherer over here as well. And a storage for chestnuts. And then we're going to need to also roast the chestnuts. Oh, 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 bad water tide approaching. All right. We're going to remember to close this thing. And hopefully these things, oh, these are all going to die. Dang it. Uh, roast them on an open fire. Indeed. Indeed. The viewers yearn for landscaping and detailing. You know. <laughs> we can, uh. We can we can we can make that happen. Here we go. <laughs> you think I need more bridges and dams? I feel like I feel like we'll get there. But we're just so far away from that even being a thing right now. Because we need this. This stuff is taking forever. It's killing me. The chestnuts are marked for cutting. I think you're right about that. Let's Let's undo that. Let's see this maple. So I'm going to unmark two rows of maple as well. And then we can get a tapper at some point. Oh, and you are full of chestnuts. Okay, shoot. We got all these things going on. And uh, uh, yeah. Beavers aren't the most efficient or fastest workers. Need a class or two on working? Agreed. <laughs> we need a beaver college. That's what this game is missing. If we had a college, then we could definitely up our efficiency game. I think I'm just going to put in a couple of small. We just, I just want to get this going. And then... We'll have another grill, maybe over here. And of course, we finished our landscaping, but nothing else. <laughs> the hedge is really pretty, all by its lonesome. Grilled chestnuts. All right. This is making you want to start another colony, Panda Hatch? You should do it. Do it. A uh, few birches are not smart, are not marked for cutting. Ah, sure enough. Good catch. Good catch. I wish... Is it possible to prioritize these? It's not. I guess I can demolish them. What I really need... I think what I really need is more more storage. No, no, we're we're fine. But having it closer would speed this up and make it more efficient. So, 
for the time being. These will be temporary. Can I prioritize the lumberjack fight? We we do have like we already at the workers there, so we should be fine. Okay, paused because we've got to do a couple of things. So we're gonna let this thing fill up. Fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. There it is. How high can we get this? We're gonna we're gonna go right down to the wire. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now we'll open it up. There we go. <laughs> no need to panic. We've just gotta calm ourselves down. You want, you want parking lots. I feel like the bad water turns everything into a parking lot. <laughs> we do need a hauler. We do have some babies now. So it looks like Tyler Hunt. Now, if you don't know who Tyler Hunt is, Tyler Hunt designed the logo for, um, for Ash. So for some of the, uh, for some of the teams in Clearwater County, uh, Tyler designed that. Tyler's awesome. A uh, long time supporter of the channel. So appreciate Tyler a lot. So good to see him in here. Uh, one castle, Mike Ryan. We're getting some. We're getting some baby beavers. I love it. Needs one more lane. <laughs> we have Diana in here. <clears throat> Always panic. Panic is good. There will be a panic, at some point. We are having all these little tiny short bad water tides, which makes me feel good. Everything's you know. I feel like. We had a slow go last time around, but things are going really, really well. And that makes me uncomfortable. So <laughs> I feel like we're about to have bad things happen. Uh, this is not a long one. No, this one was, what, maybe a day? The last one was about a day, too. So it's coming. It's got to come. But we're not there yet. This is the second one, yeah. So we are, I, I am just cruising on as, as uh, high speed as we can. So it's, it's gonna, it's inevitable. We're gonna have a bad one because I'm going too fast. That's the Diana. Yeah, Diana's been, she's in here, I'd say a good half the time. So we missed her, we missed her last time. Yes, this is the calm before the storm, Biffa. So yeah, always good to see Diana, but she's not, I, I, she wasn't in here last night. Have I played Rocket League before? I love Rocket League. Rocket League is a blast. So yeah, I played on my Xbox. I'm not good, if that's what you're asking. No, I'm not, I'm not good at all. <laughs> um, I'm curious about this. I don't know what, what this would help us with. But I kind of want to. Ooh. So. If. We are smart about this. There's the chance that we could. You can get water everywhere. This is a great map. Uh, I've played Tropico. Yeah, I have. I have Tropico four and five. I didn't play six, though. Having a floodgate. Uh, gate upstream on a one wide canal would help flush out the bad water so you're thinking like right here oh oh i see what you're saying okay let's do that i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna also place a dam right here I don't need a dam. I just need a, I need a, I need a path. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's, this is clearly not useful for me right now, but I think it's just something I want to do. <laughs> He's been a hundred, uh, 290 hours getting good at rocket league to the point that you, it was just work and no longer fun. Went back to playing against bots and had fun again. Yes, that's that's the thing. I'm 
I'll play against bots half the time and then, you know, just lose a whole bunch and be be completely happy with it. Uh, when I play multiplayer. Lock and damn number four. We are we are going we're doing a lot of that right now. So there we go. We will flush this out. I see what you were saying. So if we close this out. It's still not flushing out as quickly as I would hope. Whatever. It'll it'll be fine. We'll just let it go through. Chuckle Squad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you. And uh holy cow, 14 minutes ago I missed uh Gonops. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Super generous. Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, wow. <laughs> Super generous of you. Um, what's my Rocket League rank? I have no idea. It's been a little while since I played. I With the family right now, um, we were playing uh, Zelda last night. My my wife was, was taking the lead. So Tears of the Kingdom, that was what we were doing. Um, and otherwise, we've, we've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley together. So I haven't been playing a lot of Rocket League by myself. Oh, oh, do the do the floodgates to the north-south. So you're saying up here. All I'm doing right here is creating problems. <laughs> uh, Zelda could be a great play together with... Yeah, so we basically were tossing the controller around. So with the first Zelda, I basically... With Breath of the Wild, rather, I ended up just basically playing through all by myself, straight through, and uh, then my wife did the exact same thing. Uh, this time around, I started playing, or she started playing, and I never, I've never actually started my own, my own save. So I've helped her a few times, and my kids have played as well, um, and that's kind of been our approach: just share, share our save. You still haven't beaten Breath of the Wild? Or Tears of the Kingdom. So I was one of those psychos uh, who, in Breath of the Wild, I immediately ran straight to the castle and got... I, I, I hit a whole bunch, got all of the best weapons, and then breezed through the start of the game. And uh, that was kind of my approach to getting... It, it's very difficult. <laughs> but I have not beaten Tears of the Kingdom. We're not very far at all. I think we're out of the tutorial now. <laughs> <laughs> we basically put it down when Pikmin came out and focused on Pikmin. So, you haven't beaten a Zelda game since uh, Ocarina of Time? I, and I never played that one. So, the first Zelda game I ever played was Breath of the Wild. And the only reason I even played it is we had a, we, uh, we had a baby right before it came out. And my wife and I both had a lot of time. And if you've had a baby... You know that in the very beginning, they just kind of sit there. <laughs> so you have a lot of time to just sit on your on your couch and hold a baby, feed the baby, and not sleep because the baby freaks out nonstop. So uh, we were just playing the Switch, holding the baby. A uh, suggestion for the power build, the single platform in the windmills on top over pathways so you don't make... Yeah, we're going to bury all of our power lines at some point. But we've got to get to this. So now that we have the paper mill, we can start to think about landscaping. Because for landscaping, we, oh, we need metals too. Contamination barrier. Interesting. I haven't built those yet. So we need metals. And then we should be good to go. And the reason this matters is that yeah, we, oh, actually, I could have been working on that. Now I, I, I screwed up. <laughs> we could have been working on this, but I wasn't. We can unlock these. And I think for metals, I bet you we can reach this. So let's just go for that. We'll just turn around the corner. And do something like this. These are finally starting to get cleared, so we should be able to swap those out soon as well. 
Um, I need bad water for TNT. Yeah, that's true. We need bad water pumps. Thankfully, we've got some right here. It should be fairly simple to get those going. And then eventually we can cap this and extract our bad water directly from there. Uh, you have a question. Your wife works in emergency management for your county and thinks that you should really be getting into city planning or something like that. You do not have a degree anywhere close to that. But how can you get your foot in the door for that type of work? You live in a very small town in a college town. You might be able to if there aren't other cities around you. I will be honest, though, and say there's a very real possibility to, to get into planning. You'd have to get some sort of a degree in it. So in my in my planning grad program, for instance, there were people with all sorts of different backgrounds. So your particular background wouldn't be a limiting factor. Um, but you will likely need to get a degree in it, unfortunately. Um that said, depending on what your background is in, it could be easier for you. I was able to finish my master's program very quickly. I, I had a, I had a, I'd already had an undergrad in planning, but there were other people who had engineering backgrounds and they were able to finish their degree quicker as well because they were able to use some of their previous coursework to get credit for, for what they were going into. So I ended up taking, okay, youth ministries probably isn't going to be. <laughs> probably won't give you a lot of credit but but it will help you with public speaking so <laughs> you've got that going for you just go to a city council meeting and yell at them there are way <laughs> here's what i will say not everyone needs to be a planner to get involved um if you really want to just get involved and you want to do so quickly go and run for office Go and just like, so on Madison's website, for instance, if you want to participate in the process, you can legitimately just say, I want to be on the plan commission or I want to be an alternate. And it's just as simple as filling in a, a, a form and they, they email you back. And oftentimes there aren't enough people to do these things. So it's not as though like there's a, you're not going to get picked because you're not good enough. First of all, half of it's opinion. Like what is, what does your community want? You're just representing the community. Um, and then the other half is just following the law, which they'll brief you on. So for a plan commissioner, for instance, it's not feelings. You can't just say, I don't want, I don't want to do this because of feelings. There's legal, there's a legal framework for things. You'd be, you'd be versed in that. So it's a, it's a, it's a jumping off point. And truthfully, I wonder, depending on the program, if you had that sort of experience, that actually could be useful. And I could see that. I'm feeling some elective requirements. Who knows though? Hard to say. So I'm gonna place that as our mother metal gatherer. Of course, one stump. It's gonna get in the way. Clear that out. Uh CPP, uh far for me to ask it, but can you take time? Far be it for me to ask you to take time away from your family. But am I considering doing uh, streams around this time again as well? Yes. I, so I'm trying to find the right time and the late night time isn't necessarily the best time for me even, um, because I'm, I'm getting older. Let's just, let's just, we'll, we'll call a, we'll, we'll, we'll call it as it is. I'm old, I'm getting older. And when I stay up too late, it ruins me for the next day. So, yes. Yeah, and if you can stand the politics, you'd suggest going the, the that that route as well. Join a local political party and committees. Yeah. Like, local politics, first of all, it's not the same as federal politics. You've got a bad water tide approaching. It's okay. We won't panic. Um, local politics are totally different. I find that people, even if they disagree on things at the federal level, most people at their at the local level, just want what's best for their community. And yeah, it's, it's, it's the best place to be in terms of politics. Definitely. If you want to be impactful in your community and you don't want to get a planning degree, which I don't think that everyone needs one becoming a, a local representative appointed or, or elected either way. 
super noble, great thing to do. And more helpful than your to your community than you might realize. All right, we're gonna build a smelter. We're just gonna build this bunch of bunch of factories, just a, a thick little node of factories right here. I'm also gonna oh. I wanted this, but we don't have enough science for that, which makes me think that we should start working our way towards the observatory. We actually have enough science for it. What do you guys think? Should we do? <laughs> when you get old, you only need four hours of sleep. So I usually get six. At six, I wake up. And I just like, that's that's my uh, the, the poll. I have not polled you guys today. You're just, <laughs> Biffa, you go to you go to bed about 2 a.m. I go to bed at like 2 a.m. a lot. More than I should. That is that is also like the, the uh, that's how I can tell you're a real content creator. <laughs> you're staying up late working on things. All right. So the question is, what should we build first? So the observatory. Or, oh, 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 I'm obviously on the wrong computer typing. <laughs> Large windmill. And you get one minute and you can buy, you can buy points. How much longer will we be on today? Um... So I know for, for sure I want to be on for another hour and a half because I know who I want to raid. So we are going to raid a friend of the channel and they're not going on until one my time. So for sure, going to stay there. Vainglorious. We're going to go and raid Vainglorious Gaming. And Vainglorious Gaming is also going to be playing Timberborn. So if you want Timberborn all day, every day, this is this is the day for you. <laughs> We're, we're gonna go for it windmill kill the birds <laughs> now that's a good question are all the birds is it just beavers that are left in this in this world that we're in it feels like it oh, it's 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 a this is a tight one if you were to buy a vote for windmill you could certainly sway it but the observatory crushed it at the end and that's because city planner chair contributed 200 channel points <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, let's go for it. And what I think we'll do, because we're just being super efficient right now, we'll just send this thing back here and build some more of our small windmills. This is super ugly. No, that I can't do it. I can't do it. We're going to be foolish about this and put it in a place that's pretty, even if it doesn't make any sense. Because I would love to have this thing up here, for instance, because that's where it seems like it should be. What do you guys think? That's This is where I'm inclined to go. Somewhere way up here. I have a lot of unemployed beavers. Yeah, you like that? Pretty town over efficient. Do it, do it, do it. We're gonna do it. Um, we have a short ad break over here on Twitch, so uh, I'm gonna take a quick moment. Morender, thank you so much for the tier one resub, tier two resub. Thank you so much. Um, and Lego Jen, good to see you here. Thank you so much for the 200 biddies. Uh, Jen D from YouTube. I knew exactly as soon as I saw your name. I knew exactly who you were. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And. Uh, Arch Archie Archimedean. Ar Archimedean? Archimedean. Thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate you. Uh, reminds you of Sid Meier's Civ 5 Observatory needs to be on a mountain. Yes. That you 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 understand my point of reference. Honestly. You know what I wanted to do on my trip? I wanted to uh oh, I don't have enough I don't have enough science to unlock this. <laughs> oh I, I I'm close. 
Uh, I wanted to play Civ 6 and try to like it um, so I could get ready for Civ, uh, Civ 7, which is inevitably coming. And it ended up, I, I so I, I, was, I was sitting on a flight and my daughter needed me. So I closed my laptop lid and it froze and I gave up. But I was thinking, maybe we just need to play Civ 6 on stream sometime and you guys can help me learn to love it. We're getting Civ 7 before GTA 6 confirmed. So, I mean, it's technically, there's, there could be some of the same people working on it. So, you never know. Which Tropico would I recommend a newbie to start with first? So, whichever one is cheapest, honestly. I liked four the most out of the ones that I've played. You have over 500 hours in Civ 6. Ooh, Biffa. That sounds like a lot of fun. If I stream it this time, that could work. Let's talk. Let's talk. Four day bad tide. Okay. Now we're going to finally experience some, some things. So I'm going to load this up. Block this here and... Got a little bit of bad water, but we should be fine. Is this open? Okay, it's all the way open. Okay. So we're going to have a little bit of stress right now. Uh, CPP versus Biffa, Civ 6 stream. I will get destroyed. I've never... Uh, that said, I'm not, I'm not opposed to getting destroyed. I mean, we've had one Civ 5 stream here. And it was the most stressful game of Civ I've ever played. And I lost. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm okay with losing. I'm I'm gay. I'm here for it actually. So let's go. I think we'll do something like this. Oh shoot! I made this all not right. Like, hold on. I want this to actually look kind of neat too. So maybe something like this. We'll just loop back around. Oh, that's not going to work either. Oh. I'm making this way worse and more complicated than it has to be. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to get this guys. I'm going to get this. I find that I I struggle with the staircases. I could go straight down, but I want to be fancy. So there we go. <laughs> and then we need to figure out power up here as well. So we need at least 200 to be maximally efficient. So, we'll do this. And then I will lower this. We need pine resin, so we need to also have... Here's where, here's where it starts to get you. You get all of these different things that are all priorities. We don't have the 500 science for the tapper shack. So, that is going to be our next pickup. Uh, only 80 hours on Civ 6, but 3,000 hours on Civ 5. Uh, Caribbean, I think that you and I are living the same life there. Wait, there's Civ 6 on the iPad? But I've got an iPad Pro back there. I wonder if that's a way for me to start to like it. Hermocrates, enjoy your lunch. Some extra exercise. Yes, that's why we did this little loop right here. Uh, you still play Civ 2, DJ John Mary? <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 so the first Civ I played was Civ 4. And I played it because I tested it. Otherwise, I had never played Civ. And it was the, it was like just the, the most beautiful thing. To find a game that you love, uh, and then get paid for it, just amazing. 
the Android version works okay, but you prefer the quality of life mods. So I never, I never modded Civ Five. So I, I yeah. I see you've never played Civ before. It is without a doubt. Civ Five and Civ Four are two of my favorite games of all time. Civ Four has the stacks of Doom, which kind of stink, but beyond that, great game. I'm gonna let I think I'm gonna let some water out and stop pumping here. Uh let's see. We'll just gently let a little bit out. We got two days left. I just want to keep things green. Not a huge deal. I think we, we need to start prioritizing storage too. I've done a pretty bad job about that. CPP versus Potato McWhiskey. Oh my goodness. Potato McWhiskey would kill me. <laughs> yeah. Go me against the guy who would be teaching me how to play. That would be terrible. <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. But I am saying it would be a bloodbath. Civ 1 will forever be your favorite game of all time. Unmodded even. So it's funny uh, that you say that. Because I recently played uh, SimCity, the original, through an emulator. And that's a game that I, I put so many hours into on the SNES. And I just wanted to see what it was, like, how it felt. And I fell right back into it. So I, I could see how, if you have an old game like that, it can still feel great. bad water uh is the bad water like pollution yeah it is it is like pollution uh it's coming from the outside the normal water sources it does that for this couple of days but we've we've handled all of these like pros we are just crushing it feeling good uh we need storage for our iron as well that'll be a thing soon maximally efficient it right there uh you could sit there and play that uh, that the civ one space bar i should next time we play civ i've got a one more turn shirt i'll wear that uh potatoes videos help you improve so, yeah i watched a ton of potato videos trying to love civ 6 and i just never got there could be a series for him uh, see if he can teach he needs to teach me how to win on just like the default setting at this point. <laughs> my problem is I get so stuck in my Civ 5 brain. I can't get past it. And I get frustrated with really basic things. I also find that there are just like simple things about Civ 6. The, even the visual art style I don't like as much as Civ 5. <laughs> Gandhi with Gandhi still doing nukes in Civ 6. I tested Civ uh, Rev, and that was always my favorite thing about that. Is like he was even more maniacal in in uh, Civ Rev. So I've heard that there are mods that change the graphics, Johnny. Um, I haven't tried them yet, but I might. Reasonably though, I it, that's probably more of an excuse than anything. I mean, reasonably, I just what I haven't liked about it. The big thing, and it's probably the dumbest thing that I don't like about it, is the way that workers work, or don't rather. Um, like Civ, I know it's unreasonable to have a worker that lives for 4,000 years and is just kind of always doing your bidding, but I like the mechanic. I also, the trade route mechanic does never clicked for me, using the trade routes to create paths. I was always one of those people who got hyper crazy about the way my paths looked, and now I can't control them. And I know it's stupid, and I should relax but i just can't <laughs> all right i'm gonna pause all of the water pumps and see if i can get enough water through to fix these although it, it doesn't really matter it's fine we'll just we'll, we'll roll with it Oh boy. Oh, oh, and here I am pumping all the water that I was trying to get over. Shoot. 
doesn't matter. It's a half day. We're going to be fine. Uh, hey, guy, but I did not. I, I did not go to. So I, I looked at the uh, before stream last night. Actually, I looked at the Thunder Store and they're really it's really a limited selection on there. So I think that I'm going to need to go to the mod.io. And I like like you mentioned and a few others mentioned on the last stream. So we'll definitely we'll do it before the next one, because I think on Thursday again, we are going to uh, once again do this. And then maybe again next Saturday. Because I want to get to at least 300 beavers. We're at 50 right now. And we're holding steady. But we got to get to 300 and it's got to be pretty. So. You adore the Civ 3 art style the best? Uh, forget the roads. Wait for the military engineers and build roads. They're still, uh, they're still the road <laughs> to victory anyway. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've never gotten that far. I've been taken over every single time I played. That said, I'm still uh, the guy who keeps hoping that the next update will make me love the game. So I keep buying the up. Like I, I, I purchased every expansion. And part of that's just to encourage them to keep doing it. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. But I, I love Civ so much. I've gotten so many hours of enjoyment out of Civ 5 and 4. Um, and Rev and, all, you know, yeah. So I'm still going to play. I'm a day one Civ 7 pickup purchaser. Have I ever played the other Civ games like Colonization? I tested Colonization. Uh, Alpha Centauri I didn't play, though. But yeah, I, I was actually on the team of testers for Colonization. So I played Colon Colonization every day for eight hours a day for like six months. Loved it. <laughs> the Copium DLCs. Yeah, that's why I keep buying them. Of course, the very best way to tell a developer that you hope that they change course is to buy the game and all the DLCs. <laughs> uh, colonization was uh, based on the Civ 4 platform, and it was basically you get to the Americas, and it was a race to colonize it. So a little dark there. Um, you could also play as, you know, the as any of the native american uh native uh, north or south american tribes as well and you know so there were different ways that you could play you could also be brazil so yeah it was a, it was an interesting game i never i never played that no uh galactic civilization not go play the original colonization love the music on it what the i'll i let the maybe we'll just need to do a little bit of, a little bit more retro gaming be a lot of fun yeah colonization i mean it's definitely a derivative so it feels like a derivative and if you if you aren't into that it's certainly not gonna it's not gonna feel the same i wonder if part of the problem here is that we just need to clear these out like if we just Clearly, I don't want to get the beavers in here now. But I'm going to add some steps and clear these out. And that might help us clear this bad water faster. Let's see. Yeah. I'll add a step there and one. We'll probably need it up here as well. It's fine. And we don't really need to do this right now but we'll just clear it out it'll be fine uh have i made frostpunk videos excited for frostpunk 2 i have not i do i do have you can see what i was doing last night i watched i watched the wan show it's it's like a friday routine for me now i watch the wan show and i play uh i play civ 5 let's see I, i've picked up frostpunk but i haven't played it yet I installed it. <laughs> that's, that's as far as I've gotten. Uh, you two, Rise of Nations. I've never played that one. Um, the game I'm most excited for right now is probably Manor Lords. So I'm, I'm really excited for that one.
Uh, you were thinking that I could put floodgates along the water route. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Along the water route to send the bad water around the basin and keep it fresh. So you're thinking... Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! And then we could get rid of this whole thing right here. So... Okay. I see what you're saying. So we'll add the floodgates right here and then we could add one right here even once we clear this the water will go around we've got the floodgates here so then we'll have a whole bunch of fresh water and that'll actually protect all these trees too and then maybe i could put the chestnuts back or the uh not the chestnuts but the oak trees back here that's smart that is really smart so let's see where we're at with all this stuff I think we'll be fine. We've got we've got materials. Let's just let's just race towards it. All right. Some planks that we can recover. Oh, you got me really excited now. That makes so much sense. So I'm going to place this right here. And I think we could probably get away with building this right here anyway, but I'll just, we'll add a path. It'll be fine. And then over here, we'll add some steps down. And I don't think there's a need for a taller floodgate here just yet. So we'll go with the small one. Oh, that is so smart. Once that's done, I will demolish all of this and we'll reclaim all of this lumber, which will be really helpful too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was awesome. Uh, so we are we will let the fresh water come in here. Normally we'll keep these down, but when we have a bad water tide, we can close this and this. And once we have these areas cleared, the water will go back here. We'll close that one off. And it'll flow right back here. No problem. And then on this side, because we didn't dam this, the water will come around. It'll reach to right here and then go this way. And eventually we can keep creeping this back. Maybe even at, I mean, reasonably we could have put it back here too. But I think we're, we're going to be just fine. Now the one thing, I, I will want to get rid of this. This is... I wonder how long that bad water is going to sit there. The one thing you'd like in this game is having floodgates at 0.9. Yeah, I think that that would be nice. What's for lunch today? So this is this is not sponsored. But uh, I actually am a Factor subscriber. I know I've, I've, I've had that sponsored on the channel in the past. Uh, but I'm actually a Factor subscriber and I have a Factor that I'll be having. So, that is what I'll be doing. Strategy has been your go-to lately. Phoenix Captain currently playing through Battletech again. I haven't, I haven't uh, played Battletech. Battle Brothers. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, put that on my list. I'm curious. What am I, what am I, what's going on now? Don't do that. Don't do that. What's going on? I'm like getting pulled over <laughs> okay give me one second i'm gonna put that down Battletech. it's part of my my shopping list oh yes we've got unemployed beavers so let's we'll increase the number we have here and then let's build a let's build a building hut Ah, uh, reasonably. Probably should have put this like right here. So we'll do that. We'll get rid of some landscaping. And we'll redo it. There we go. 
Uh, I should get started on the dynamite. Make some. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close to being able to do the dynamite. The big, our big limitation now is science. So we need 400. Uh, so the next thing I'll unlock is the explosive factory. Oh, we got it. Bad water. Actually, that's, that's the next thing we need to do. So we need the bad water pump, which is 250. And we can place it like right over here. Okay. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of things. I'm just going to speed it along a little bit. We'll just wait for it. Uh, Battletech is a uh, mech combat fun campaign and has a career mode where you can uh, play a mercenary company. Fantastic modding scene for the game. Ooh, sounds good. Uh, you're, you want to know if I have Ostrov in the shopping list? Lee Hawkins convinced me to pick this up, and I was actually going to play it on vacation, but I never did. But I tell you what. Here we go. We'll just we'll get this we'll get this thing going, and that'll be something that we can do next sometime sometime soon as well. I could add a couple of inventors. So we're so close to this at this point. Oh, the pine resin. That's the other thing. You're right. You know what? We'll just go for it. These will be highly temporary. Um, but we do. I, we are just like. Kind of in a rough spot with science. We have a, a short ad break over on Twitch. So I will uh pause momentarily after I get these going. I absolutely despise everything about this area right here, which is most of our uh most of our oh the pumps. Thank you. Completely forgot about those. Okay, uh, Ripley, thank you so much for the tier one. Three months, I appreciate you. Uh, Thrash Poda, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate you. Uh, and uh, Duxter's Lab, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Hi, friends, how goes the beavering? Good. <laughs> Thank glorious. I was telling everyone about you earlier, uh, about about the uh, about our, our uh, raid plan. So I'm, I'm excited to do that. You excited to play Timberborn? Battletech is your second most played game on Steam. Neat. Uh, better time of day for you Brits? Yes. <laughs> What's an ad break where you live? There's no ads on YouTube and Twitch. Well, look at you. <laughs> I uh, I am definitely a YouTube prem uh, premium. Premier? Yeah, premium subscriber. We have a family plan. I like I can't do it can't watch the ads so that's that's the way that i do it i don't have what is it called here on twitch the uh the whole uh i should probably know the name of it the ad free version i have not paid for it i suffer through ads with the rest of you on twitch uh biffa salute you buddy thank you for being here i will i will watch your video after this is done and i oh there you are <laughs> so thank you for being here Biffa. i hope you have a good hope you have a good evening uh your most played game is football manager followed by football manager then football manager <laughs> democracy how was lunch you got stuck in four ads uh did i try surviving mars i have not it's in my it's in my list so i guess you guys are going to have to figure out whether I should broaden my horizons after Timberborn. Because I think that that's... I think after Timberborn, we'll play some City Skylines 2 for a little bit. We'll work on our, our little city now that we've got the mods to fix it from uh, a, a stream or two. And then I'll let you guys pick the next game we play again. So, yeah. You haven't been able to catch a stream in so long. You're wondering where I'm on Twitch? Yes. Yes. Uh, for a few months now. It's been an, an absolutely excellent experience. Um, and I know that like there are still, we're multi-streaming on YouTube. So for the 447 of you over there, thank you so much for being over there. I am only doing chat on Twitch. I, I've, I've found that the chat experience is a, is a lot better. It's real time. And then the other thing about it is now with the Elgato prompter, so I can look at you guys, see myself, see the chat, 
and it only works with Twitch. It doesn't work with YouTube. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. You have 3000 hours in Victoria three. Uh, any community geocaster guesser in the cards? Always. I, I don't think I know how to end a stream without geocaster at this point. So trying to recall what we said we would do at the end, wh wh which uh, type of geocaster we're going to do. So you guys are going to have to remind me when we do it. And we, we got a pro probably another hour left. We're going to try. I want to. We always are going to end by finishing everything that we've started. So I don't want to get ahead of myself right now. So I'm going to try to be thoughtful about that. And we're going to make it. We're making our way to explosives. It has to happen. So we're going to get to explosives. We are going to build our observatory, which means that we have to start collecting some of our pine tar, which means we need to stop chopping down all of our pine trees. So. That'll be one of the first things that we do. We'll stop that. Leave that pine tree. No, 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 no. Oh, what are you doing? No. I thought I got. They were already committed. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, you would suggest adding a few more houses. The population hasn't really grown. Yeah, we. I thought that we were going to be in a rough spot. We also could really use some more storage. But I'll bite. I will bite. We can add more housing. We'll just keep going up. I'll add one more story. Uh, this is probably way too much. We'll have to see how this works. We've, we've really added on to our population this time around. Um, I think we'll, we'll have the end over here. So we'll do something like this. And then there's the staircase. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so much lumber <laughs> or so many planks, so many planks. But we're going for it. And then I'm going to, I'm, but I always forget to do this. We're getting to it right away. There we go. All right. Yes. <laughs> you love the apartment buildings. Thank you for maintaining the house orientation aesthetics. I have to, it drives me nuts if it, if it doesn't. So I'm not sure how high we're going up with this, but at this point I could kind of just keep going up forever if I really wanted to. So we could just do like a 10 story apartment building and uh, maybe, maybe instead of having nice little, so what I was thinking we would do is try to use landscaping and, and really orient things nicely through here and have maybe two story apartment, like townhome style living for our little beavers. But maybe we just have a mega, a mega apartment right here. And then do a nice big park right here. We could do like, like like some sort of a maze with our our hedgerow. Plant my trees. I'm running out of logs. Am I? Okay. That's right. I can I can have them over here now. So let's get back to it. I think I'm gonna put the birch back where I had them. And we'll put the oak back where that was too, because it doesn't matter anymore. And we've got five beavers, even with our builders. So I think I'm going to add a forester. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I want to remove these. I'm going to add a gatherer over here and we'll start to relocate our berries and have more lumber planted over here, the new forester. I think that will make a ton of sense for us. So... Get that out of the green area and one gatherer.
one lumberjack, and then let's plant a bunch of stuff over here as well. I need steel storage. Don't I have some? I thought I, I thought I, oh, I screwed up. This was, I meant to have one over here. Good call. Thank you. We'll come, we'll come back to that. We'll hold that thought. There we go. Yeah, that guy's just sitting around hanging out. That's not, that's not good. Nothing to do in range. We'll pause this for a moment. And here's what I'll do. Blueberries right here. We don't need all that many. These are going to be only for medicine, basically. And... I'll try to keep it nice and organized. And then for dandelions, we'll put those, like, maybe a couple right here. And... More oak. Lots and lots of lumber. So, I wonder... All those dandelions that I cleared out, was that a huge mistake? Did we just destroy them all and not actually save them? Wait, wait, GeoGuessers paid only? I didn't know that. That stinks. Hopefully that means, I mean, if, hope. I mean, I have a paid subscription, so hopefully we can all still play. If it does become an issue, I'll switch over to the one of the other one of the other ones check my cutting flag for my trees good call so I don't want to cut these down I don't want to cut these down I do want to cut those so that that's some of the missing lumber there we go that should help out a lot And then droughts approaching. That's no, we, that's no problem. I think we'll plant a bunch of oak over here as well. And I'll clear out all of this old junky stuff. Okay. I feel like we're almost, I'm almost in a spot where I could just like let this go for a second and hang out. But I want to make sure that we get this completely going. I'm going to clear all this. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go crazy about this. I also want to take a moment to just sit and think, make sure. Okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're in a good spot now. Um, jellied eels. I like eel, but jellied eels? Uh, the host needs the sub for GeoGuessr. Okay, yeah, I, I have a paid GeoGuessr, GeoGuessr subscription for the next year. So we're good. We're good. When the beavers get disaster uh, warning systems before Magnolia County's tax-paying citizens. But th here's the thing. Everyone's contributing here. Magnolia County, maybe that's not the case. <laughs> All right. We're just loading up now. So a day and a half. How close are we in this? The Pine Risen pine resin away this is too far oh shoot i always do that i always inadvertently will block the path to be able to, to do things like that all right so we need to i think we we should have enough now to finally unlock our tapper shack 500 it takes us down to three we're fine Put that here and th the tapper shack do you guys know does the tapper shack do we store everything the resin in a tank i want to say that we do for the drought would i be able to raise the lever of the uh, the level of the upper area now that i have the various controls no i did not i probably i mean 
we should start thinking about a reservoir soon and probably would want to raise this up another level but we're not there just yet so that'll be on the next maybe that's the next the next stream we'll make a reservoir over here because that would be nice to be able to you could see that if we were to raise it up here 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 and here we could start to flood this entire area out and have a nice store of water so that'll be on the horizon we'll keep we'll keep that in mind uh we are going to stream for at least so vainglorious i, I want to say that you're going in an hour so it'll be at least an hour more but we're going to accomplish our goals so i will not i see you got one hour to go get your gas <laughs> and then we'll play some geoguesser all right the drought is starting you got at least an hour. I'm going to close that one off. Oh, I should have left this one here. I could have routed the water right into here and closed it off. But I didn't do that. We can also get rid of these now. These aren't synchronized. Hmm. I regret that. I deeply regret that. So we're going to add that back in. Or honestly, this could probably be a dam now, but I, I want the control. I like the control. Uh, yeah. <laughs> be right back. Run, icy run. <laughs> yeah, we're in a drought. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the water into the right place. And I'm going to turn these pumps off quickly. So this is a long drought where we got six days. I think we've got plenty of water and storage. This is unfortunate, though. We didn't really fill this up. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shoot. Where did I screw? I, we just didn't store enough water. Okay. Okay. Well, this just got a lot more challenging. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to hope for the best now and we've killed all of our trees. So we've got that going for us. Oh. Yeah, this is the panic that Biffa wanted. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Let's take a step back for a second. We have a lot of food that's going to go bad in a short order. So I want to, I, we're going to completely switch gears. And we've got plenty of lumber and planks and science. I think we got to start storing some of this food that's all going to go bad. Um, this is going to be super ugly but very utilitarian. I'm just going to place a few over here. And this will be for... We're loaded up on potatoes. There. I just... We've got to... We've got to store some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Biffa's got to come back. Uh, you think... I'm at risk to be overpopulated quickly? You're right about that. <laughs> That's the, the reason why I think we've got to rush towards getting these things built is, I mean, the water is clearly a problem, but I think food is that, that problem that we're not thinking about, or at least that I wasn't thinking about. Might be fine for food and water enough for the drought. I think yeah, we might get through this. It, I think it could be dicey. We also have enough to start pursuing our large water tanks. We're getting closer anyway. Not gonna get ahead of myself. Not gonna get ahead of it. Um, wish there was an option to make the beavers fat to not waste food for hibernation. Seriously. Oh, Bricks, thank you. Thank you. I can put a pause in the houses. They're already done. So at this point, oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Ooh, that's smart. I've never done that. <laughs> Nothing be everything for no one. 
<laughs> okay. The beavers are going to stop reproducing now. So that's going to be really helpful. Just imagine if you were being forced to live in apartments with all these other people. And there were all these apartments that were ready to go. And the head of the colony just said, no, you can't do it. No one's, no one's unemployed. We're good. We're good. I can press P to pause the building. Okay. Aha. Thank you. So I think if I, if I get rid of this one, no one's homeless. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so for the first three or four cycles, you went carrots only. I did the exact same thing. <laughs> it's not, not a... I've learned my lesson from that. I clearly have not uh, learned the water storage lesson, though. Not there just yet. Uh, I'm also... I'm going to get rid of all of this. So we've got this. We're getting... Oh, bread. Whoops. Oh, I screwed that up. That should not be grilled potatoes. That should be carrots. And then we could probably honestly use more storage for... Uh, Boy, for our blueberries too. Because I want to clear these out, but I don't want to just destroy everything. Mm. This will be a temporary storage. And I meant to build this over here as well to store the resin. So... Wait, what does resin get stored in, guys? So we, we can do the maple syrup, but is, is resin? Well, sure enough. We've got an empty storage right here. The chestnuts aren't being collected, so we're good. Uh, save blueberries for the bad water. Yeah, that's blueberries plus dandelions for the bad water for the antidote. So that's why that's the only reason I want to save it. I don't want it to be food anymore. Uh, don't expand your food types too early. That's what the bottleneck can be. I... I we, we haven't gone too hard on that. We've got sunflowers, we've got potatoes, we've got corn, and the blueberries technically, but I feel like we've been fairly judicious about that. We've tried our best. Liquid storage. Okay, yeah, we've got maple maple syrup, which we, we don't even have anything that we can do with that, that we do with that right now, so it's not really super useful. But we've got it there just in case. JD Bizzle, I think I think Biffa's been gone for a minute. Unless unless uh, he's lurking, uh, just excitedly watching as I'm about to kill the entire colony. <laughs> okay, let's get this power back over here. There we go. Once we have, uh, we got to rush to that as well so that it doesn't get blocked. Because we're getting close. We've got the pine resin now. And then we can finally get rid of some of this stuff. All right. Uh, if you clear those blueberries, then have a forester planted to control the area so the blueberries don't get overspread. So I've got, I've got blueberries right here. And then a little bit of sunflower. Uh, of course, I screwed this whole area up and didn't... Uh, preserve any water so you can't tell <laughs> but that's the game plan this is supposed to be an area where we actually have uh, a little bit of everything so that's eventually once we make our way through the drought hopefully this will this will clear up an ad popped up the moment you hit subscribe uh i'm gonna take a, a so speaking of the ad break i have missed a, a couple of things here so renegades back thank you so much for the prime uh vista vista blee alarm thank you so much for the uh for the prime resub appreciate you two months uh chris marion thank you so much for the tier one appreciate you two months for you as well and of bricks thank you so much for the prime thank you thank you thank you all right so this is finally done did we get our power we did we're good we are good i just heard a noise i don't know what that noise was though 
<laughs> All right, so we're back from the ad break. Not that it really matters because I feel like we're at a point where we're just waiting at this point. And the beavers are happy. We've got enough water. We're going to make it through this. I'm not going to forget to re-enable re these pumps. Things are going a little bit too well. It makes me feel like I should have increased the difficulty. Or, which I've never done. Never done it. Or, something really bad is going to happen down the line. <laughs> I'm going to jinx it. Probably. Honestly, probably. It, it just it just feels like things are I've never played a game that's this calm and I, I don't feel like I'm particularly well organized this time around or I chose a good map yeah it's I'm playing on normal just remember how uh, cocky RCE was getting yeah you're right it's just a matter of time honestly it's been not overpopulating so if we want more challenge, we just allow ourselves to overpopulate. And that'll that'll solve all of our problems. <laughs> uh, this is the, I think it's lakes. And honestly, I found that all of the extra space has made this really easy to manage because there's so many different channels to move things around. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a really pleasant map to play on. I really enjoyed it more oaks over here this must be too far away yeah oh well, let's see that's gone and now there we go I'm going to do the exact same. Oh, I'll do the exact same thing over here. This is just all about wood. Just as much wood as we can. Um, okay. And then again, because I'm crazy. Wherever I can't grow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll clear things out. <laughs> uh, just remember the Western floodgates. Did I forget about those? I did. There, that'll help out. And we need to raise this one up. Okay, yeah, we've got the power going through here. We're good. We are good. Oh my goodness. So I wonder. Now we've got beavers up here. We're working our way towards explosives and we've got 30 metal. All right. All right. All right. Here we are. Explosives factory. The other thing I want to, I want to start replacing these windmills with large windmills. And for that, we should probably start thinking about batteries as well. Um, so 1.4 thousand science. Uh, DJ John Mary, thank you so much. At the uh, hype train, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Miranda Tess, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate you. I, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I wish they didn't remove the irrigation towers. They removed them. I didn't realize that. Huh. I wonder why did why why so what do we do now? Is it just the, the pumps? I used to use the irrigation towers a lot myself too. I didn't even realize they were gone. It's funny. I spent tons of time trying to find them. They were removed. I, I bet you there's a mod to bring them back. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I, I used them. I mean, they were very inefficient. Like just the, like being totally honest with ourselves but i still liked him 
Water pumps are made, are made square by levees and then water dumps. Yeah. So we're going to build a big reservoir in the next one. But I think that's not a now thing. Uh, I I decided to add this staircase up here because we don't really have all that many dandelions. And I have the ability to have more up here, I think, with the stairs. So I figure we'll just add that up there. Uh, Peaches. Thank you so much for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the bits. I appreciate you. And Steinhouse, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so much. Tier 1. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Again, I too it's too too calm. So we had we have oak over here again. I'm going hard on the oak. So I, I think I shouldn't even cut down this other stuff at all. So I'm gonna unmark. I guess we've got these already unmarked. What are these? Maple? We've probably got enough. It's fine. We'll just it'll be fine. There we go. Yeah, you thought it was allowed to remove them too, Alchemist? Yeah, I'm not sure why you remove something like that. Maybe they just didn't want to clutter up the UI. Oh. Caprio, thank you so much for the for the five gifted subs. And Hype Train Level 2, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's so it's super cool of you. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, it's super nice. Thank you. Uh, so what I've been doing is I've been building tiered reservoirs with a dam as one of the squares so that the reservoir doesn't overflow and then it spills into a new one and then down to a new one. Oh, I like that. So in my map, the last that I was playing on, on vacation, I basically had a pump out of my main reservoir and I created a new river um, and I had dams all along that. So not exactly the same, but I like your concept a lot. We'll have, to, we'll have to experiment with that because I could see a couple of areas where that could make sense uh, on this map. So we're going to we're gonna do some. It's going to be fun. Uh, Ermankin, thank you so much for the, for, the, uh, for the biddies. Appreciate you. And uh, Kim, you got the gifted sub. Make sure you're on Discord. As soon as we're done here today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop the link to... Uh, it's a SimCity 2013... Uh, retrospective where I just I for the first time in in years a decade probably playing that game and, and honestly saying that SimCity 2013 came out over a decade ago is wild to me uh yeah <laughs> okay you're back does the uh, the colony is still good we are things are going too well although the water situation doesn't seem to be as good as it was before we might need another pump. So I I I I am glad that you uh mentioned you, uh, us killing the the colony because we're not we're not there yet. But water is my my nemesis. Okay. There we go. That will help out quite a bit. Uh, you can make a reservoir out of the lake behind the observatory. Honestly, that is a great spot for it. The other nice thing about that is for the bad water, we could add a couple of levees right here. So we could add one right here, one right here, and one right here. We, we don't really need this one. This one right here, this one, it's funny, it's backflowing. One right here, one right here. Fill this thing up. But we have to do that after we fill this whole area up too. So we've got a lot of work to do, but I think it, I think it's it's gonna be good. SimCity 2013 was the game that got you to stop pre-ordering games. It's a rough launch. I think what I should go to Metal, metal Gathering now. We've got metal. We we are gathering metal right here. We've got a ton of metal saved up. So we're we are actually. We need to go towards the bad water because we have our explosives factory, but we can't make any because we don't have bad water. So that's actually what we need to do next. Um, but yeah, SimCity 2013, 
What I've found is that I like it more than I remember that I liked it. Um, there's a lot of content now, though. But the maps are just still way too small. It's... it's Honestly, it's it's uh, really unfortunate. It made me... I think that my overwhelming feeling after playing it was um, a nostalgia for Maxis. I mean, I, I think I just... I miss, I miss Maxis games. Um, but it's not coming back. <laughs> so... At least I, I wouldn't think it's coming back. It doesn't feel like it's ever coming back. I decided to switch sides of this so we didn't have to walk through any of the bad water. But I want to block this off so that this loads up with bad water. So I'm going to I'm gonna actually most likely completely block this off too far from builders. Oh, it's because of this. I don't need to panic just yet. Um... You miss Maxis pre-EA? Yeah. RIP to Maxis. Yeah. And Bioware. Uh, there's just... There's a certain joy that I feel like Maxis games have. Um, a humor and levity to it. They, they're trying to create something that's a simulation that's very serious. But at the same time, doing so with humor, it's just... It's really... It's... it's I think that's what I miss in City Skylines, is that... There's humor in City Skylines, but it's not the same. I just like Maxis' sense of humor. And you are right. Maxis would have died without EA. They were on their they were on death's doorstep. EA killed them in a different way. <laughs> yeah, and Will Wright, I mean, the creator of SimCity was just like done with it too. So that wasn't really helpful. My population is huge. Yeah, I guess I didn't I didn't envision reaching a third of the population milestone that I wanted to reach today. Um but we've added a lot. <laughs> uh let's see. EA allowed them to live long enough to stop being themselves. Yeah. So the funny thing is they had uh, 29 unemployed beavers. Seriously? Thank you for pointing that out. Planner Pete. We got Planner Pete and Batch. Batch isn't in here right now, I don't think. But I'm going to... All right. I've got to I've gotta ping. Hold on. Off off camera. I'm just going to let... I've got to let... I've got to let her know. Batch, you... Have spawned. <laughs> Uh, more hauling post. Do you think that's that? That's the trick right there. Okay, I will bite. Oh, that's ugly with all of that, all those paths. Um, the original Diablo devs left Blizzard, launched their own studio, made two of your favorite games, Perfect World, drove their new studio. Just uh, ah, uh, what what? So what? Games that the Diablo devs create after after they left their studio. Oh, uh, Bullseye, you want to know what you've missed? We're going ham. We've just been building a ton of stuff. Uh, we've got power. We've got explosives factories. We are building levees right now so that we can start pumping this bad water out. We are collecting metal over here. We are starting to channelize our water so that we can control the bad water tides. We are planting... Uh, blueberries over here now and clearing them out over here eventually we're storing all the things we're going for water we are uh we've done a lot we've done a lot torchlight too i didn't realize that was that came from them interesting okay we've got, we've got enough now to unlock our large windmill, which is another thing I said I wanted to go for. So that we can start replacing these. So I'm going to... These aren't really doing much right now anyway. That was stupid. I should not have gotten three at a time. 
But what's done is done. So we'll just go for it. We have... We actually have a lot of a lot of materials, so this should go fairly quickly. And I'll just leave these two behind. Yeah, that was an oof moment. I yeah. Every now and then I do something that I immediately just go, wow, that was that was really, really stupid. <laughs> uh build a flood gate get around the water source. So what yeah, so I, I of bricks, I know what you're saying. And I think so that's kind of what I did in the map uh that I created uh on vacation. I basically I didn't realize that you could take any any water source and just run it off the map and it just disappears. So yeah, we could build something that's super tall right here with a floodgate that just sends it off the map. So that I mean that's I think that's the best way to deal with bad water. So maybe that's how we we eventually, because we've got one source right here, one right here. Is that kind of it? Is it those two? I think it, the ones that are directly impacting us, it's this one and this one. So it would actually be very, very straightforward. And honestly, for this one, we could just dynamite this way. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to go back to that first water source? Okay. Uh, you wonder if they're going to release an official version of Timberborn? For sure. But Timberborn, the way that they've handled early access has been awesome. Uh, do I see that canal slightly to the right of it? You talked about this one? Oh! So I could loop this back around, slingshot it. I see what you're saying. So I could build right here... Yeah, I like that. I like that. That is, yeah, that's very smart. Of bricks, I'm gonna keep you around. <laughs> this is an, uh, yeah, this is early access. They keep adding to it. It's a brilliant game, and the fact that so I've appreciated that the saves carry through. Um, that's been, I know people have said that. You know, what's what's up with New Cycle? Why aren't you playing it? my save didn't carry through. So I can't play on my existing save, which makes it really hard to have a series if I can't, if I can't continue my, 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 yeah. Your, your save in the new cycle broke. Yeah. So some saves don't. Maybe the thing is I finish, a, I finish building one of these fast enough that it doesn't matter. So it's been it's been fine for me. The observatory has power. The windmills just stink up here. So I think what we really need to do is take one of these and replace it. Let's do that. It's an opportunity to get this anyway. And droughts approaching. I don't care. We we don't need to worry about droughts. We are good. Oh, I'm gonna waste all my science. And we'll go for this first. I know we're st we still are talking about the bad water. We're gonna get to that. Windmills in your damn training game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are. This is. This is good now. I'm. I'm pumped. Uh, let's see. We're gonna put power right here now. And I'll pause this for a second so we can get a, this shaft in here. I just, when you get to this point in the game, it just feels like everything becomes super easy. I just love it. Who's, who, I'm, I'm hiding someone's beaver. <laughs> Gravity baddies are the best. I'm, I'm looking forward to also blasting out down here so it can go even lower. Oh, yes. Batch is in here. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. We got to find Batch. Oh, I can rename her. <laughs> Batch, where are you? 
Uh, you're just you're just hanging out. You're 13 batch, and you're sleeping, which is fine. But you're in good health. Your well being is good. I, I guess I'm taking care of you. You're 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 doing well. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, batchy beaver is still in bed. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't ping you awake. If I did do that, I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh you don't think they need to be that high? It doesn't take much to get them to ten. Oh, 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 for the. Uh... Yeah, oh, we, we, yeah, we are maxed out, I guess. So we're good. All right, we're good. We are we are doing well. Oh, bricks! You spread your power grid all of all over the map. I I will eventually attempt to connect these, and we'll bury our water pipes, or our our power pipes, our power our power shafts. Maybe we'll maybe we'll move them all up here eventually, or something like that. I just I love being able to see a ridiculous amount of power being generated in one location. Yeah, you can blast underneath. So I did that in my last one. What is the max that we can have here? So we're at 10,000 horsepower or HPH horsepower hour. I don't know what HPH means actually. There we can get that going now too. We have a we have a short minute and a half ad break on Twitch. So uh Rudin, thank you so much for the uh, Prime. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Jason on YouTube. That's a bad power transferring mother. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like this is going really well. All right. 22 unemployed beavers. What are we going to do with them? One's right here. I almost feel like I almost feel like I made a mistake right here. Here's one thing I'm going to do with him. Let's double the number of foresters. And I'm going to send a path over here. I just want this stuff to get planted. It's just taking too long. And we've got the overhead, so we might as well. Um, I thought I added a second hauling post. We did that. I'm going to... There we go. <laughs> I'm a hauler. I didn't realize that my name was in the list, but apparently I'm hauling now. <laughs> uh, and there is a drought incoming. So thank you for that reminder. Let's store up as much water as we can. And stop pumping. We we only got like a third of a day to build up water, but it'll it's better than nothing. Now the one thing, which one defaulted to zero? Oh, right here. I should just double check, visually inspect. Okay. It's something. And then do I have to close these to prevent? Yeah, because the water's flowing backwards. So I'm going to close this one. And I probably don't need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, There we go. We've got water. We're good. We're good. Uh, maybe put the pumps, pumpers up to science. We've got these paws, so they they should be gone. Honestly, I want to get rid of these. Uh, these are no longer necessary. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Scruff McGruff. Yes. <laughs> Sentient beavers. Well organized into a society, coming together to study and build and research and farm. <laughs> 
Uh, so let's see. Now let's go for the, our bad water pump. Honestly, should we just go past it? We could just skip it. And save up our science. And go right for... Right for a bad water rig. That's going to take too long. We'll get there. But we can do this right now. And we want to get to our explosives. So I think... I think I'm actually going to dam off this. While we have the ability to work down here. And... Let's see. Yeah, we'll add a dam right here. And I want to do that to preserve some of the bad water. Okay, and now we'll add in... I'm going to square some of this off. And I think that's where we'll add our bad water pumps. And then we'll also need storage... And we should be good after we get that in. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys, I'm feeling really good. I think... I think we're in a, I think we're in a good spot. Let's just get this stuff built. Um... What am I... I think I'm uh, looking at this wrong. Okay. Yeah, 92 beavers. We, we've gone from, like, nothing to a gigantic colony in just a couple of hours. It's been kind of nuts. I am a little concerned, though, that we're going to have a gigantic death wave at some point. Because I think a lot of these beavers are the same age. Um, From 30 to 90 is wild. Yeah, it's been, it's, we've gone, we've been going hard. I feel good about it. Chuckles, I'm not saying that. You're trying to get something clipped. <laughs> I know, and I still have 28 unemployed beavers. I don't know what to do with them. Some of them, granted, some of them are right here. Um, So we've got, what, six pumpers right there. There's going to be two more right there, so that's eight of them. So there's really only 19 unemployed beavers. That's still a lot. Um, What do you guys think? The unemployed syndicate is angry. They're not angry. They're chilling out. They're just over here, like, hanging out at the campfire, going to the beautiful rooftop terrace, taking in the sights of the blueberries. I want to be one of those unemployed beavers. Unfortunately, I'm being forced to work. You know what? I want to fire myself. Ugh. I keep getting I keep getting a job. <laughs> Fired. I'll just slowly. Apparently I have to work. <laughs> it's it, there's there's no way to make myself stop working. <laughs> yes, the beavers are all named after subscribers, members and patrons. I went through and I grabbed the Twitch sub list and uh yeah, I'm I'm on the I'm on the team. And I even even when I try to get myself to not be on the team, look at this. It's it keeps bringing me back. I am the I'm the I'm the ultimate hauler. I'm going to get to live my dream. Oh yes. Now I think I can just get to hang out at the bar while all, all of you guys are working. So, there we go. <laughs> I am good at holding things, apparently. Uh, need some rooftop chairs still? Yeah, honestly, maybe that's what I need to do. I'm I'm the bartender over at the rooftop terrace. I think I'm having a great time. <laughs> I need to build some fun stuff. Yeah, what should I... What, what should I... While we're waiting for our drought to pass and for this stuff to get built... 
We should build one thing really, really fun. Get some crazy monuments, but no. Ooh. Off farmer within seven tiles. We're generating science really quickly. Uh, pole. Okay. Well, so we've got to do things that are actually reasonable. So I think that we could do the monument. Uh, what should we build for fun? Uh, let's see. Farmer's monument. You said dance hall? Wellness first? Okay, I'll do, I'll do, I'll put one more fun thing in there and then we'll do some wellness things. Uh, speed up the bad, bad water. Day. I think it's, it's, it's going to get there quickly. It's the only thing that we're building right now. We have, we have beds. We have the, uh, the stone grinder or the teeth grinder. But yeah, let's look in here. Um, contemplation spot. Lido. 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 Herbalist. We, uh, we would need to get, so we could do that. That would force us to build something else as well. The carousel. Oh, the carousel would be fun. 400 power. We could figure that out. The dance hall. We have enough science for that. And the mud bath. Okay. I'm going to, okay. Shrine. I got a few more options. Three more options. First things I see up there. I'm adding. Um... Dance hall, dance hall, carousel, and the, oh, the, okay, mud bath requires dirt, so I can't do that yet. One more, one more. We all got dance hall on the list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll add one then. Oh, contemplation, okay. Give you a minute. You can buy votes. Only costs one channel point. Go for it. Go, go, go. Uh, contemplation spot uses power. Carousel uses power. We'll get it. We can build whatever we want now. We've got so much production. We're fine. Ooh, I see what you're saying about the dam now. We're about to have bad water again. So this is our high priority. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. We, we've prioritized this. If this doesn't work, I'll just add a stair right here, and it'll be fine, too. Uh, it looks like Dance Hall is just crushing it right now. It. What is going on? Stop all of this other nonsense. Well, that's not going to work now. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it. Um, dance hall just crushed it. So we will build the dance hall. And does that need anything besides, oh, this needs treated planks. So we'll have to unlock one more thing. I've actually never built the dance hall. So I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, let's see. The dance hall needs a great view. So I think once again, we're going to place something really high. Or do we place it on top of... No, I don't like that a lot, not much. Requires treated planks. So we'll need to get that. That's... So we've got plenty of this. And we've got pine resin already. 250 HP. Hold on. Let me drop all of these down. Because we are finally ending our drought. And I'll get these guys going again as well. Uh, on the hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that idea. Being able to connect from the top of the apartments to the hill. That sounds awesome. Okay, yeah, we're, we will for sure do that. 
I think I'm going to let some of this stuff build first over here. Hopefully we don't get anyone sick by grabbing that. I think we're going to be okay. Mm, there we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. We've got to we've got to we've got to get the the beavers dancing. So we are going to Oh, we've got to build our we got to build our our uh treated plank workshop first. Unpause the pump building. Which one? What do I have paused? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Whoops. I meant to unpause one of them. And that one. And I should be hitting P. Uh, you guys have told me that. Okay. Dancing Beaver is your favorite Canadian indie band? <laughs> You would recommend adding a two-layer platform so I can cross? Oh, shoot. That would have been smart. Um, We'll get there eventually. I think we've got we've got more stuff to do. Um, we'll, we'll, we're, we've already got our staircase. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. But, yeah, I agree. We are going to want to probably dam off here and here and, like, just have a whole bunch of... Actually... Maybe not even dam right here. Maybe we just want to have a levee and let the bad water flow out this way. Unless. No, I think we actually want to dam here and levee this. It's probably the right approach. I can still build it over the dam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the levee is the right approach right here, truthfully. To the point that I don't want to forget it. So I am going to just like cue that up. Low priority. But I want that there eventually. Uh, open the spillway for fresh water. So that's that's what I think. So at, in the next drought, I want to open this up, and then uh, we'll have the bad water router on this way, and that'll leave this as a gigantic open freshwater area. Truthfully, this could end up being our reservoir. I mean, look at this; it's huge. We would just the problem is it's it's, it's downstream, but maybe we, we relocate some of our farming in the future. I don't know. Lots of options. Lots of options. All right. So, dance hall time. How's this going? Actually, before the dance hall, we've got to replace some of our power over here. And let's see. So, this needs 20 gears, 40 planks, 30. So, we're actually short at this point on gears. So as we just completely factorize, factor, not factorize, that's, <laughs> as we turn this into a gigantic factory, I wonder if, they, if that was even the right way. Could I rotate this around the other way? I can. So I'm going to place two right there. Nobody, nobody said that the factories have to be beautiful, right? <laughs> Factorize. We're factorizing this entire area. Uh, the mega workshop. Yeah, this is this is basically our industrial district. We're good. We uh we got it all figured out. And then I will connect these up as well. And hopefully we'll have enough power to just keep kind of chugging away at this. Um, we need a, we definitely, I mean, we look at that. We've got plenty of supply. I don't even need these other ones that I've, I'm building. We need batteries more than anything, most likely. Yeah. 
We are we are in the middle of the industrial revolution right here. Absolutely going nuts. I'm going to get rid of all of this. Um, I think we can have some batteries right here. It's not going to be very deep, but it'll be a start. And maybe this is how we start to bridge towards these as well. You usually put the uh, the windmills on the platforms above the road. Uses less space that way. Ooh. I like that. I like that. So it'll be the birth of Carl, Carl Barks. <laughs> So I'm getting a near even split between surplus beavers and surplus jobs. Am I? Ah, so we are finally uh, reaching our equilibrium. We've had a oh, we've had a lot of deaths. So I talked about that death wave. We're finally having it. <laughs> so we've got a lot of babies now, which isn't great because look at our water situation. Not good. Not good at all. I'm going to get rid of... I'm back to work. I think I might add a few more water pumps. Maybe maybe, maybe I'm overreacting. I'll calm down. Calm down. Uh, keep your population within 10% of your jobs. So now let more jobs grow and fewer beavers. Yeah. Bigger storage tanks would be good. I agree with you there. And once these build, we'll have the gear overhead, hopefully, to do it. So we'll just, we'll sit tight. All right, now for our dance hall. I think we'll do something like this. Let me see the best spot for it. I want to line it up. I want a good view. So yeah, I think we'll do we'll do that. And then we'll build we'll build uh structures around here to give ourselves many ways to get around. Oh, and I'm just I'm going to I'm going for it, guys. multiple pads up here all of the all of the planks we're just we're, i'm just i i want to go ham and i'm also going to go for lighting and let's let's redo our path we'll add some seating and all right, let's see. A shrub. And some seating. That's going to be really nice. I'm going to, yeah, that, that would be a, a, the place to hang out. Um, yeah, that, I'm, I'm digging this. So we might want to move this at some point and start to kind of clear this out a little bit maybe continue our apartments this way um but yeah I, I i dig that that's gonna be really cool and just imagine the view up here get to watch all the water being pumped <laughs> i guess you get a nice view of the poo while you're dancing <laughs> yes imagine coming home from work after a 12-hour shift to sleep only to be awoken by drunk dancers coming. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's, it, it's a nice, easy walk to stumble back to your apartment. So we've got that going for us. <laughs> uh, Steph, Steph, thank you so much for the tier one. Six months. Holy cow. Steph, Steffy, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that means I have to keep streaming. <laughs> so... You are going to be the reason why I never stop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right. So we've got, I think we're about to start. We're getting close. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. That is deep enough. Wait a minute, logs? 
We're out of logs? Seriously? I didn't see that one coming. Um, well. I don't care about those ones. So I guess we've got two beavers. There we go. Uh, I've entered my wood drought season. Yeah. Super, super uh, frustrating when that happens. Uh, Steffi, Steffi, you've loved my videos for many years. Your mom is the one who got you into SimCity originally and watching your videos with her got you back into gaming with City Skylines. Thank you for your content. Thank you. Really appreciate that. It's always crazy to me to hear the, the different stories of, of different people uh, watching the videos and the content and 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 finding out um, who they watch it with, and that's kind of one of the crazy things to me too. So I, I appreciate that. I should definitely make that area more accessible over here. Yeah, it is. It is kind of messy, and it wouldn't be that hard to make it more accessible. Problem is, to make it more accessible, I need wood, and I have no wood, <laughs> so. I could, I mean, a, a, a double platform right here. Oh, this is a bad idea. It's a bad idea, guys. I'm going to do it because I love suggestions. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, Archimedean, who lost their save? Was that RCE? Or who lost their save? Your four-year-old old keeps calling the beavers hamsters. I could see that though. I was a I was a big hamster kid. Hamsters and guinea pigs. My mom wouldn't let me get a dog. My dad, my 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 parents were divorced, so my dad, we had a dog. But my mom, she was all about guinea pigs, hamsters, and small rodents. Those were those were okay things for me to get. Oh, we're out of, we're we're running out of beavers now. It's a weird spot to be in. And a drought. Oh no. I feel like we don't have enough water saved up for this. Oh. Okay, we're going to be fine. I want to, we're going to clear out all of these some point soon and replace them. I want to get efficient. The next, the next stream is going to be about efficiency. For now, we just got to get by. So we'll start to eliminate some of this, some of the small stuff we have here, beautify things, but yeah, bigger tank. The only reason I'm not doing the bigger tank right now is we don't have the gears for it. And I've, I've kind of gone nuts building things and we have no wood. <laughs> so I feel like I've, I've put us in a bad spot. Cut their work hours back to 12. Oh, oh, during the drought. Okay. I thought you meant right now. Easy gaming. Thank you so much for the bit, for the bits. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, during the drought, I will cut their work hours back to 12 and we'll just, we'll just eke it out. The dance hall is more important. So are we still? I'm going to turn off. We can't do. Oh, we, we are finally making explosives. So I should leave that. We need to get this thing going. So I'm going to go real fast on this. This will be our top priority. Oh, and honestly, we've got a whole bunch of... Uh, We've got a whole bunch of planks, so as soon as we have this, we should be good to go. Why is this not working? Oh, oh, oh. Cat. Uh, remember to close those floodgates. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I will start to. I'll, I'll start. I'll. Well, actually, I can't there. I am going to close that one. This one's already. We'll close this one. This will start filling up a little bit. I'm going to raise that up a little bit. So we'll start to fill this up. I don't want to slow this down too much. But it, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, no. I got to keep this thing going. We'll keep it going for a little while. Hopefully this fills up enough to start spilling through again. Um, I don't have explosive storage. That's a great... A great suggestion. This is, again, we're going to... We have gotten efficient. The next thing that we are going to need to do is get pretty. Um, more workplace priority. We're, I think we're okay. We've got three a dish, two beaver overhead. All right, we've got this too. I want to speed this up. I guess I, everything we've had, we've had bad water tides. We are good. We, our bad water system's good. I think that we're honestly more vulnerable to droughts than anything else right now. And honestly, this didn't work either. And the main reason... I, actually, we filled all those up immediately. Yeah, I'm, I'm in that weird spot where... I want to just keep playing. <laughs> but I know that... I know that we've got to... We've got to... I, I, I have a hard time... Finding an end spot. And it's kind of the same thing for me with like, you know, I, I was building, I've been building this little Lego set with my kids. Um, at the Grand Canyon, we got these, uh, they're basically animals. Uh, there's an owl and a scorpion. And they're like the smallest little Lego sets in the world. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, I'm going to at some point soon refill my coffee and I will, uh, I'll get what that Lego set looks like. It's like half size. And uh, that's what I keep preaching to them. Make sure you're stopping yourself at a good spot. And I should be doing the exact same thing here. So this, oh my goodness, this is an eight day drought. We are going to make it through this because we have to, because we need to get our dance hall built. <laughs> but this is a big one. This is a big one. Uh, Timberborn never ends. Oh yeah, 12 hour work day. You guys got to keep me honest. You see a flaw in my floodgates as an armchair gamer. Those are the best kind. Uh, because of the ones up north to the right of the iron mine. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna follow you. We're gonna go through this. Oh, you're right. Shoot. I needed another one right here. And I didn't do it. So as a result, I'm not filling this up. Oh. Dang it. It's too late for this drought, obviously, but yeah, for the next one. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Oh. Bullseye. I was feeling good. Now I feel bad. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, yeah, your one pump is still on. Honestly, it's probably okay to have one on, but we'll, we'll turn it off. Worst case scenario, we'll, we'll turn it back on. Honestly, you know a good spot to put some pumps? This is pretty deep right here. It's a little reservoir that I didn't mean to build. And of course, I shouldn't be building anything right now because we've got so much stuff outstanding. But I kind of just want to do this. This will be our backup. 
And I will, I will, these are low priority. And I'm gonna, I'll adjust the priority of the, the platforms too. But I, I really think that that would be good. Um, how's the beaver happiness? I always, is that right here? Well being 10? We've got some injured beavers, so we could use some beds, some hospital beds. Um, wet fur, not great either. We've only got one of our showers. So let's add a second shower. And I think we've got one hospital bed. Oh, we've got three. They're all full. So yeah, that's good good catch. Good catch. Good call. Uh wet for showers. Lido are just building path through water. Oh yeah. So I could have just had uh, so I could if if I would have instead of having like this path here, just steps down, that would do the exact same thing as the shower, is what you're saying? I think we got one tooth grinder. Not popular. <laughs> so I don't know that we uh, how are we I don't I, yeah, I don't think we need that just yet what we could really use it I, I'm wondering how far the dance hall will go towards our our happiness because that's what I'm, I'm really excited about I'm unlocking iron teeth um, you've been wanting to play this game, but you never see it on sale for five bucks. I tell you what, Batch. I will, uh, I will pick up a few copies and I will, uh, I will put them in the giveaway. So sign up for the giveaway on the Discord. It's, it's totally worth it. This, I've sunk so many hours into this game it's such a fun game it's 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 even though it's early access this game is super worth it i just it's so fun how much is it 25 if it is it's it's super worth it and i i, I don't i don't see them dropping it anytime soon and i won't i wouldn't blame them If anything, they're adding more content to it. So, uh, did I do an intro series to this? Yeah, a million years ago. They, and and I, I worked with the developers actually, and uh, they sponsored a couple of videos uh, back in early 2023. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then I totally screwed that up. <laughs> so, basically, uh, apparently Poland and the and the U.S. So this is a Polish company that puts this game out. And there is a uh, an agreement, a trade agreement between Poland and the U.S. And to get paperwork, this is really out there. You have to provide um, an IRS form. So I ended up talking with the with the IRS about a tax reciprocity agreement form. Uh, I don't know how many hours I spent talking with the the IRS, only to get the wrong form. And just basically give up. And I just told them, like, tax it. Tax it all. I don't care anymore. I just want to not upset the Timberborn people because they're so cool. And I don't want to deal with the IRS ever again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, the, the IRS people I worked with were very helpful. But the fact that you can make a mistake in your form, like just one mistake and it takes six weeks to get a response back and i was on the phone spot speaking with a human being and they said I, I just need you to fax me this form and i was like you need a fax what year is this you fax i'm talking to you on the phone and i was like do you have an email and she was like yeah but i can't accept that through the email i've got to get a fax it's just like oh my goodness oh my goodness yes uh, yeah, we would probably do better with a fully funded IRS. Maybe they could work their way through some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's not going to happen anytime soon. 
It's it's going to be the, the the forever boogeyman, and as a result, the IRS will be terrible. And it just, I felt I felt bad for the employees because I've been on the other end of that. Is like, it's not my fault that this thing sucks, but it it is what it is, and that's clearly where they were. Uh, but yeah, I made so I made a PDF of my document, and then I used an internet faxing service to fax it to them, and they they were like, wait on the phone to make sure we get it. And then they said, cool, we got it. Six weeks, we'll get back to you. It's like, oh, six weeks. So I went around in circles for most of last year on it until I gave up. O October, I gave up maybe? Yeah, it was terrible. Um, I, I kept making small mistakes in, the, in, my, in my paperwork. So it wasn't all the IRS's fault. It was also mine because I, I, I apparently can't figure out their paperwork, but... Yeah, sad. Yeah, six weeks for anything federal. It was a decent, I mean, it's federal, so I get it. There's a lot of things going on, but yeah, it was it was a it was brutal. Probably trying to keep my personal information secure. So Josie, I would think that it's way less secure to have a fax going through because I'm going through a third party site to get it done. Um, you know, anytime I do anything with a bank, like when I bought my house, they had like a like a, this secure website, like even for the emails and thinking about like my tax forms for the, for my CPA, he has a secure portal too. So I would think that faxing is crazy insecure, but I don't really know. Faxes are actually one of the most secure ways to send confidential information in this tech age. Really? Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm being too hard on the IRS and their fax machines. <laughs> You work for the federal government and you can only email through a certain site. I'm not surprised. So my wife is also a fed federal contractor anyway. So and I know that like her systems are just very intense as well to the point that, you know, at one point she was thinking that she could do a training at home and she could not log into her training. She had to go onto her site. And yeah, politics Politics, so politics is fine. We can have differences of opinion about things, but stupid politics where you don't make logical, technological upgrades for political reasons to score some points, yeah, that's the kind of politics that, I'll just be blunt, really pisses me off. It doesn't, some of these things aren't political and they shouldn't be political, but they are. Uh. Hemo Felix, thank you. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Thank you for being here. I see you live in Germany. Every place has stupid politics at some point in time. And even if you agree with a certain politician, they're probably doing stupid things from time to time too. Politics is like being sick. It comes out both ends, but some... It comes out of one, but sometimes both. Yeah. <laughs> so... Street, you make a very good point. When is the last time you've heard about your government identification number being leaked by the federal government or being being stolen from the federal government? Like, what a catastrophe would that be if uh, for some reason someone was able to, to, to hack into the Social Security Administration and leak everyone in the U.S.'s Social Security number? It would totally destroy our, our, our I, mean, I don't even know how bad it would be for our country, but it would be catastrophic for sure. Tax collection, security, I mean, it would be bad. Um, and we haven't heard of anything like that. Uh, okay, OPM hack back eight years ago? You had your stuff stolen from a background investigation. Oh, I didn't know, that's crazy. Yeah, but you have your social security number being, being leaked all the time from banks being hacked. That's true. It, I, I'm not, I should not be giving anyone ideas, Batch. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just probably should give them more credit. Part of the part of the speed is security. Yeah, Equifax. Yeah, I was part of the Equifax leak. I think I. Yeah, I have. I have the uh, ten years of monitoring too. The funny thing is, eventually they started taking that, and they're like, "Hey, you want to you want to pay for this?" Like, I, it's like 
every time I log into there, they're like, yeah, skedaddle. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the tier one. I appreciate you, buddy. Three months. Yes. This bit beavers. <laughs> so health paperwork, at least in my area is all through, uh, a lot of it's through Epic. It's a local company. It's like our Google. We have like Madison's all about biotech and, uh, and healthcare. But yeah, six weeks to get back to you is for sure not security. And it's, it's not, a, so it's probably short staffed. Yeah. Six weeks is, is, is being short staffed. You're, I think you're right there and not getting optimized. Here's the thing. I mean, I think that when you're short staffed, it just, everything compounds. I mean, I've been there like working at a local government where Oh, Epic, Ep well, I know Epic is not just local. I mean, that's what we, one of the things I love about Epic uh, being in this area is we get international flights at our little Dane County airport. Like I, I remember at one point there was, I know that there were a lot of people going to the Netherlands and they were talking about how to get flights that'll go from Dane County to the Netherlands with just like one transfer. So like those are the sorts of things that we've got added San Francisco flight directly out of Madison. Um, yeah. Uh, I, there's a question I missed. Is there is there giveaway info on Discord, Phil? There's a giveaway channel. Um, the giveaways channel. And you have to subscribe to the channel. Ping the moderation team. <laughs> and yeah, there's always a giveaway going on there. And I will pick up a bunch of... Uh, I will pick up, well, I guess maybe we haven't played in a while, but I will pick up a bunch of teas because we need some. So yeah. Most of the last few hacks, companies and governments uh, parts due to not lack of security mechanisms because of one Timmy who clicks on an affected file. Yeah. I mean, I've been a part of, oh, we've got a, oh, we, we're going to lose a beaver. Hold on. Hold on. Seth KJ, you are a goner, but I appreciate you. I'm very sorry for what we've done to you. Actually, wait, we'll save you. Let's let's save Seth. Run away, Seth. Come on, what are you doing? Buddy, I cleared the path for you. Okay. And now. Okay. We almost, we almost, we almost lost Seth. And now we're good. <laughs> Under channels and rolls, yeah. That, that, uh, that's probably. <gasps> what are you doing? Someone else is going back there to hang out. Oh, Seth, Seth is in here. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't let you die, Seth. <laughs> But now I expect you to work. Now you, you have to. <laughs> oh, thirst. We are. Oh, my goodness. We've got to pump some water. So I'm going to turn these back on. And then we are going to slowly pump water out of here. So what I'll do is I'll desync desync this one and let some oh it's not it's not even coming through. Oh my goodness. Oh, so little water that nothing's coming through. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You got me talking about the IRS? and taxes and I forget about water and I'm going to kill everybody. <laughs> so this is going to be terrible. Oh no. Don't panic. We got two days of this left and we've got 300 water. This is a pan. This is like a legitimate, like this is why you panic. This is a, this is a good reason to panic. Uh, let we uh, let any less than 12? I mean, it feels. Ooh. 
So I, changing the working hours does reduce it. But now we've got that balancing act of we still need to get water. And at least when they're pumping right here, we are adding slightly. We've got too many beavers. That's our real problem. Okay. Well, we're almost... So we've got our platforms here. So we should be able to pump this. And there is a bit of water down there. We're going to be okay. The IRS is the uh, Internal Revenue Service. They do all of our tax collection. Okay. I'm going to take... I'll, I'm going to I'm gonna take a page out of your book. Look. <laughs> We're going to be fine. <laughs> We're not going to sacrifice any beavers. We're going to be okay. We've got this will build out in just a second. One day. Oh, we are out of water there. This is it. This is it. Oh, it's going to be. So my problem is I, I'm worried that we are going to end up in one of those spots where, uh, we get to zero and that all the beavers stop doing all the rest of their work and they're just trying to get water. And even if you recover from the drought, you just can't ever get past that. I have enough water to make it, you think? Yeah, I will open the gates right away. Thank you. That's a great reminder. Uh, that one can stay closed so that we funnel everything down here. We'll do half. Okay. All right. We're going to be fine. I'm going to take your word for it, I see. I'm going to also just get moving on this and adjust the working hours right away. Okay. I think you guys are right. It's going to be fine. How many hours am I into this save? However many we've been going, so eight? No, not eight. That's crazy. So we've been streaming for three hours today. Probably th so six, maybe? Maybe six? A quick to the sauna. Your beavers are as thirsty as you are. <laughs> yeah, so maybe six hours, I think. Probably about that. And we've almost got our dance hall. So this needs power, I believe, right? Let's see. No. Yeah, we're, we're back to 16 hours. We're good there. Just hit zero as the... Oh, yeah. Oh, are we not... Although, we, you know, the problem is we have to walk a long ways to get over this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Get back over here. It's so so close no thirsty beavers yet oh there they are there they're starting get pumping i wonder should i just should... i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i shouldn't do it but i'm gonna go 24 hours we gotta pump some water oh no okay okay we're filling it up is okay is it bad is this a bad idea to maybe I, I should I should not do that I should calm down uh, build a small water storage right next to the pumps and set it to send resources out the haulers will come so you mean supply is that what you mean 24 hour work job DJ, good to see you here. Okay, fine. I will, uh, or maybe obtain. Maybe that's what I should be doing. We are filling it back up. Um, oh boy. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What is, oh, they're tired. 
I don't care. I want you to get some water. All right. All right. We're going to take it. We're going to take it down. Uh, I need to get the tank by the other pumps. Okay. I, uh, that's, that's a good call. In fact, let's pause these ones. Oh, that one's almost done. One's close. Okay. One medium tank. Yeah, that will help a lot. So that's that's our number one priority right now. I can't believe that this has built anything with this. I, I, I did not see that coming. Uh, the prompts are being prioritized oh 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 they're not they are not good call good call okay there we go all right <laughs> his early days were filled with regret uh for eminent domain he has gone into the dark side now it doesn't care if workers are tired damn straight <laughs> <laughs> At this point, just do what you got to do. <laughs> uh, thank you, Magnum Kid. <laughs> uh, if you use this model for all resources, you can create a central distribution system. You're going to need to explain that to me, but I'm not stressed. <laughs> So are you saying in the center? We we need to make this a more aesthetically pleasing dictatorship. Right now we have we I, I think that it's a fairly ugly dictatorship. This is part of it. We need to get rid of those. We need to get rid of these. And start to reorient what we're doing from utilitarian spamming to something a little bit more beautiful. Uh, clear a path under the water pump. Yes. we. Oh, you know what? We do finally have some explosives. I just don't want to waste them. Um, trying to remember how to... Uh, we, we need to get some extract. I'm going to place this and pause it. But we definitely need that. Um, but that's that's going to be a next time thing, I think. Okay. The water water's good. Don't forget to build a dam to the right of the ruins. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think I'll build a... a, a le well, I'm going to do a levee for now. But next time, uh, I think our number one priority is going to be a gigantic reservoir. So we'll do something like... Is that the shortest? Ooh, I didn't even know that was possible. So I, I just drug this across, right mouse clicked at the same time. Oh, didn't do it, I didn't do it. Okay, never mind. Right there, actually. That's probably... That's probably fine. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Allie, you might be you might be onto something there. Build three high levee across the small canal. That's what we're gonna do in the next one. I think that the next one is gonna be one hundred percent taming this. We'll probably need to set up uh, a second colony because we're getting too far away. So we'll probably need another colony, maybe over here, honestly, or up here. And that gets to another level of complexity that I'm really excited to tackle, but I think that we need to, we need to, that needs to be our goal <laughs> at the start of it. <laughs> so the, ra the range is unlimited now. Is it? 
I didn't realize that. I was wondering about that because it seemed like I could go a long ways, but unlimited for real? Oh, the food situation is terrible. Oh, I didn't even notice that. What happened? What happened? Okay. Oh, no. We're going to gather some berries because... Oh, that's not good. I totally forgot about food for a long time. I've not been thinking about food at all. Um. Well, folks, we, we can't... We, we can't we can't stop <laughs> okay we're gonna potato it up more potatoes uh let's see I can, I can also put some stairs right here so we have all of the potatoes um The other thing, are we still collecting chestnuts? No, we're out. Are we filled up on uh, roasted? We'll s That's not efficient, but we're going to do it anyway for now. Yeah, potato mode. <laughs> Range is unlimited, but not efficient. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> you know what? I bet you Vainglorious is wondering what we're up to. So I said, I said, yeah, I want to, I want to raid Van Glorious Gaming, but instead I'm just going to keep this up forever. <laughs> this is the thing, this, the reason why I think that this game is worth picking up is it's one of the few games that I just, I can't put down when I start playing it. It's just so much fun. And I just like, there's always one more thing to build always. So, temporarily, let's do some carrots up here. Oh my goodness, this is, this is, there's always, there's always something. <laughs> All of the potatoes. Walk through here to get your metal. Walk through the potato fields. I think we get, can we get, okay, right back to there. Good enough. And over here too. Oh, I can go even further. Okay. All right. We might starve. <laughs> uh,. Cyber, you came from YouTube. You love my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, and thank you for switching over to the dark side to chat. Appreciate that. The thing you love about this game is how it tackles building up. Yes. Honestly, that is the most unique thing about this game is the ability to just keep going up. And it's just, it's hard to express how pleasant that is. So I wonder why we're not harvesting these. And if, if maybe we shouldn't, I don't, yeah, I don't, we, I think we, we'd probably be well served to have another farmer over here. What do you guys think? That is a lot of potatoes, but we've got a lot of, uh, wait, do we have a lot of, no. So we have two of these already, so we should be able to swap these over. And once all the potatoes are harvested, doing that. No storage for potatoes? We've got storage. We've got a lot of storage for potatoes. A farmer behind your water pumps. So you think right here would be good? Or are you saying... Something like this could work. Problem is we're running out of beavers. Uh, yeah, we've got no beaver overhead. I might just, oh, we'll, we'll cut back on the number of haulers that we have. Oh, 
Oh, they're just getting absorbed somewhere else. Um, Batch is over here now. Working with Planner Pete. Love it. Okay, now we've got a couple of beers. And they're just... Oh, I bet you they're going over here. Yep, there's Batch now with Planner Pete. Okay. Um... Batch be hauling. Now, Batch be farming. <laughs> uh, why am I being so reactionary now? Because we're about... I feel we're, we're about to run out of food. And I need to... I need to keep us alive. We can't, we can't plan when we're... Half of planning is reacting. <laughs> I can't remember what crop it is, but if you grow and cook a certain crop, you can set it to disallowed until summer. Oh, that's interesting. So disallow harvesting it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at this point, we just have to we just have to keep everyone alive. If we can if we can keep everyone alive. We'll be OK. Which we are kind of recovering. I just I really underdid it with uh, with everything over here. What are you doing, Brandon? Okay, okay. Hold on. So they are still collecting. Once these are gone, I'm gonna... Oh, and we get a bad water tide. Of course. Ah, uh, well, our dance hall is done. <laughs> I might leave us on a cliffhanger. And... Turn the upper floodgates... Oh, yes, 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 yes. So we don't... This isn't going to help us for the bad water tide. But it's probably smart to just get those done anyway. Totally forgot about them. And... Before we go... I'll do the exact same thing over here. Let's add in... couple of levees and some floodgates we're gonna have to redo most of these i think um but we've got a lot of we got a lot of levees to build uh trashly <laughs> thank you so much for being here glad to see me on twitch you love streams do i have a stream schedule every thursday uh at 8 or 9 p.m central standard time i have been streaming i might add a, a second stream like this um this one though is really i'm, I'm by myself and uh yeah so we'll see. So yeah, Thursdays right now. And stay tuned. There might be more. We'll see. I really enjoy streaming. I think it's a lot of fun. Noom Beaver Milestones. Right before my... Oh, look at that. We're at 13. We're so close to getting our... Uh, uh, the Iron Teeth. We've got our water situation completely resolved. Uh, we have enough for our centrifuge. This is just me just getting overly confident and comfortable again. But I'm not we're not getting to the bad water tide today. We're not doing that. We're 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 gonna move on. Uh Hussock Fire, you're from the UK and you're usually asleep when I stream. Um so if I went a couple hours earlier, would that be helpful? The other option is to stream in like a Friday midday, which I'm also midday for me, but then other people are working and I feel bad. You're gutted. You don't get to see the Thursday streams you have to watch. Uh, yeah. They usually happen around 7 a.m. where you are. So you're usually asleep. So this is a good time. Maybe I'll just I'll need to sprinkle in some more weekends. Couple of hours earlier would work good for you, Josie. Yeah, that's that's the problem. The world's the world is too big, <laughs> and the times are gonna stink for somebody. But if I can mix it around and move it around, that's I think that's helpful. But I definitely want to have more EU friendly times, and this is eight to nine p.m. in the EU. That's good. Yeah, in the in in, in the U.S. right now. I'm in the center of the country. It's almost 2 p.m., so it's perfect. <clears throat> okay. We're going to slow it down. 
Would you look at this, guys? We've got... Whew, uh, we, we've got 76 beavers, 9 children. We've got food. We've got more coming. We've got water stored up for days. Uh, easy game and you're off on Friday and Saturday, so this is perfect for you. That's good to know. Um, yeah. We're in a good spot. And, and yeah, I appreciate that, Ian. Yeah, stream whenever I want to. Don't fall in the trap of trying to accommodate everyone else. I'm, I'm learning that more and more. I've got to just kind of just do what makes the most sense. But at the same time, um, I'm only able to do this because you guys want to watch. So um, I am sensitive to that. I want to make sure that I'm doing something that works for me and for you guys. So um, I'm, I'm lucky to be able to, to do this. and I'm lucky that you guys want to watch. So I want to make sure that I am doing what I can. So I think I'm going to I'm going to save this, though. I think we've made this is we've made some good progress chat we've done some we've done some big things so i think i'm gonna take a momentary break and brace ourselves. yeah everything will be on vod so check it out um i will say though i inadvertently left the last vod on the main channel on the main youtube channel and it seemed like people had an easier time finding it and i don't like i just feel very conflicted now I was trying to do the right thing by separate them, separating the main channel and the VOD channel and people weren't finding it. And now they are, and now I, I don't know what to do. But yeah. So anyway. Perfect timing for you, uh, Bueno Churro. Churro. Digging the Saturday streams. I, yeah. Why not both? I could do. So it's super easy to put like, on YouTube, like being able to see everyone on there, it's just, it's super easy to do it for me that way. So I don't know. I'm going to give it some thought and we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, we are saved. We are in a good spot. I'm going to take, I'm going to take one minute and go and refill my coffee. And um, then we're going to play a couple of rounds. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to play some GeoGuessr. And then we're going to raid Vainglorious, who is also playing Timberborn. So we'll take a little break and then we'll, there'll be more Timberborn if you want to check it out. So uh, I'll, I'll be right back in just a couple of minutes.
All right, we're back. And uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Which, which, I'm on the wrong camera. <laughs> All right, here we are. And yes, Banjo has joined us right back there. So maybe I'll leave it there for a minute while I get set up. Um, funny thing, I found out we actually have some twinnings. So I am having tea instead. So I decided to take just a moment for that. Um, so yeah, uh, Batch. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Uh, Charmin, thank you so much for the Prime stuff. Appreciate you. I'm going to get us ready. And then just like the other times, I am going to pop the invite into YouTube first. Because YouTube is a little bit behind. 15 seconds. And as soon as YouTube jumps in, we're going to see how many. I Actually, I am not sure. How many, I haven't looked at how many people are on Twitch or YouTube at all today. <laughs> YouTube I have, but Twitch I haven't. So 294. And let me get that switched over. GeoGuessr. Finishing out. All right. There we go. And you know what I need to do? I need to have channel points for giving Banjo treats. Uh, or bringing Banjo in. Yeah, Banjo's, Banjo's a great dog. So... The problem is Banjo, uh, so he's a red healer. Kind of like if you watch Bluey, uh, <laughs> Bingo is a red healer. And just they they find one person. <laughs> Banjo gets so fat. They find one person that they kind of uh, basically just, they, uh, what is it, imprint? They imprint with on one person. I don't know, whatever. They, 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 be, they find one person that they love. And Banjo loves my wife. So I remember I went to the Humane Society and picked up Banjo. Banjo's actually from Oklahoma. Uh, Dane County has a, a, a history of like just adopting a lot of dogs. So as a result, they bring a lot of dogs here. So Banjo has siblings in my neighborhood. We actually see them out when we walk around uh, because there were about, a, I want to say, eight, eight, eight healers that all came at once. They all look the same. And we've got one of them. We've had them for... At this point, almost nine years. Kind of kind of crazy. Yeah. Banjo tolerates me. He will he was actually crated upstairs. He crates himself while my wife is gone. So I had to coax him out with treats and uh try to convince him to come down. And you'll see that he doesn't care. He's just looking in the wrong direction, looking at the wall. <laughs> so <laughs> all right. Now that YouTube's got a couple folks in, move this around and Let's see. We'll, uh, we'll come back to this for a moment. Banjo's completely, he doesn't care. He, he doesn't care about us. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try this, this twinnings. Oh, that's really hot. I've got a, actually, let me hold on. Hold on. I'll show you this. So this is my favorite. Like My favorite mug is not necessarily one of my mugs that I've made. It's actually this mug that my kids got me. It's a Mario Brothers mug, so it you can actually see the level when it's hot. Uh, super cool. Love it. So let's see. You guys want to do so uh, South America? DJ, you are a, you are a masochist. That was miserable. <laughs> but, but yeah, twinings. Twinings. Not, not twinnings. Twinings. Okay. Twinings. Um, I feel like we have to do Europe. I mean, we, we, we picked a European friendly time. We'll do Europe first. And then uh, second. Second, we'll do a vote for the last one. So we'll do Europe for the first uh, and, a, and a poll for the last one. And then we'll raid Vainglorious Gaming. So I'm going to once again drop the drop this in here. YouTube, get on in. Get on in. Let's do it. I want to get us to at least 50. We've got a total of about 600 of us. So we should be able to get, you want, you want to do Asia? Ali, I, honestly, I'm game for that. Or Mexico. That's good too. 60 places are still free. So you don't have to pay for everything. Okay. All right. We're climbing towards 50. Love it. And there we are. We're at 50. I'm going to, hmm, I want to set a timer. 
but I don't, I don't, I, I haven't done, I still have my one hour timer. That's not at all useful. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I really need to change my GeoGuessr handle to, to, to Twitch, uh, to your Twitch. Skedaddle, do it. It's, uh, you have to message them though. I had to beg them. Unless you've had it for over a month, then I think it's easy. Asia would be hard. It looks all the same to you, I see. It's, it's all about languages and how much English there is. <laughs> Oh, Banjo, you came to visit. All right. I think we're going to roll with it. we got 58 of us. I want to be in the top 10. That's going to be my goal. I'm going to bring Banjo up to help. All right. 60. 61. Let's do it. <laughs> and where are we? EU? Um, What do you have, Banjo? I can't tell. Your goal's always top 50. <laughs> you enjoy Banjo's eyes? He, uh, he makes a lot of mouth noises, so I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah, Banjo looks as though, as though he uh, could care less that we're doing this or that I exist. <laughs> I have not seen anything, but maybe a URL right here. Mm. Oh, we're in Hungary. HU is Hungary, right? You guys are so quiet. Uh, what is this? Uh, Volt. Oh, such with a V. We've got 30 seconds left. You're hungry too. I'm hungry. I've had nothing to eat today. <laughs> I've had multivitamins, coffee, and tea now. What part of Hungary is this in? Ah, oh, when in doubt, we just pick a place in the middle near the biggest city. We'll call it okay. Good enough. Not not great, but not terrible. All right, Banjo, you're getting me hot. Way too warm. <laughs> uh, DSL makes us go slow. Oh, DSL's a bummer. Okay, next up. Oh, uh, let's see. Is this a is that a is that a fertilized field? What are we looking at? I'm confused. Or is it just a really dry field? I can't tell. Oh, God. Okay, I we're I think we're I think we must be in the UK. It's French. Oh, I see a palm tree, and there is. That's French. You saw a sign. Fet, so we have Fete de Marquette in Madison. So that's a festival of some kind. What is that? What's on the side of the bus? Is that a city bus? No. Oh, that's weird. Uh, Belgium, England. It's definitely, there's some French. So it could be Belgium too. Seems Northwest, Netherlands. <laughs> That's probably super wrong. Uh, you know what? I'll take that. I will take that. 155 miles. Good enough. 16. So it's still possible for me to get in the top 10. Still possible. And uh, six. Nice work. Chris Marion. Nice work. Icy, right up there too. <laughs> you couldn't even get away from the farm, DJ. That stinks. I'm sorry. Uh, well, keep an eye on what I'm doing then. There was a sign right there. What, what was that? So that means that you're leaving the city. I know that. And what country is that? I want to say that was. Was that Lithuania or Latvia that 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 does that? Their signs. 
Normandy? Was Normandy? What? Oh. They went, is that Russian? It's a Balkan country. Wait, what did that sign say? Mm. I have no idea. Bulgaria seems like a good guess to you. I need to find a URL. I think if I could find a URL, that would be what the would at least help me narrow it in. This is the wrong way. <laughs> Croatia. You guys are all over the place. And I see people locking in now. I see you're locking in. Centurion, you're locking in too? Well, I guess you know, I got to lock in. There's not really many options. Uh... Oh, that didn't feel good. You went Bulgaria too? Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> I actually moved up a spot. That is that was wow. That was impressive. That was impressive. Wow. 271 meters. Impressive. Impressive work. Axnar, you just pulled in the first place. Love to see it. DJ up to 11th. Nice. Okay. So now. Office towers on the on the periphery. But expo. Uh so this is a it's a sign saying where different places are near it. Oh, in meters. So that's streets. Your clue about the sign leaving town helped you? Good. Good. Now you gotta give me a, a, a hint on this. <laughs> <laughs> a big tower we're th this one's gonna it seems like we're in a very on the periphery of a very large city you saw a domain i feel like we should be close oh there's a there's a poster over there <sighs> too far away too far away Lithuania? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I actually I worked with someone who I want to say moved from Madison to Lithuania to there. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got me up to 11th. Got me up to 11th. One more. I gotta pass, I gotta pass uh, Ali, or Ali, Ali. Okay, 153 meters. Wow, that is impressive. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about this. I said the UK, we didn't do Europe. We did European Union. So there would not be any UK uh, locations in this, presumably. Didn't even think about that. Fancy suburb. It was a big expo. Okay, so what is this? I, okay, okay, okay. Here's a town sign. That looks like it's French. Oh, is that the city? Uh, that's the name of the city. Okay. It is, it is French again. It's a French suburb and it's, it starts the P 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, oh, we're not gonna, I'm going to end up just picking someplace. I'll just select Paris for now. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a selection. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, you won't be in the top 10. I won't be either. 
Oh, 13th. <laughs> well. MXW Taylor, excellent work. Good game, Jesco and Axner. Excellent, excellent, excellent work. Everyone. Yeah. Fourth place. That's good. Maxim. Uh, Max, that's excellent. Excellent. Excellent work. Good game, everybody. So the next one is going to be a you pick them. This will be our last one before we uh, say goodbye to YouTube. And Joe on YouTube, what's up? Thanks for being here, buddy. I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to kick out the inactives. Jump in. Come play. Uh, there's an ad break for the next minute on Twitch. <laughs> you were dead last. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vert Kitty. Maybe the next one will be better. Um, so Mexico. I'm going to do a poll. So the first, the first few suggestions that I get. So I saw Mexico. South America before. Mexico, South America, U.S. Uh, I know that Asia was one. And Poland. <laughs> Where next? You know what? We've done U.S. I'm taking U.S. out. No, no, no. I'll leave it in there. I'll leave it in there. And or, what, Japan wants. What's it? Japan that we did? I'm not sure. Uh, right now, U.S. is was leading. Now it's South America again. You guys love pain. Oh, I'm 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 excited to see what pulls through. Asia is in second now. Railcar Explains wants to remind me about Lane Mathematics in Magnolia County. I actually meant to bring that up. The reason I did not do that, I don't think it's necessary. Lane Math was super necessary in City Skylines 1, but reasonably, sometimes you don't have proper Lane Math. In the next stream, I want to I explore that more, that idea. I want to explore that more. Uh, South America is crushing it. If someone wants to spend some channel points, they could potentially make Asia push forward. You get like three seconds. We are going to South America again, guys. <laughs> oh, the pain, the pain. <laughs> okay. So the fun thing about South America is that if you get one location right, you could win. So I'm going to give you guys another couple of seconds. Yeah. DJ contributed 75 channel points, which is 75 votes, which was just about enough on its own to make it win. <laughs> 66 of us in here. I'm going to give you guys 10 more seconds. I see you voted po Poland. Poland came in with 102 votes. Mexico got three. <laughs> so apparently people don't want to do that. All right, guys. I think we are about to jump right in. Let's do it right now. All right, all right. This, to me, looks like Australia. <laughs> or South Africa. And that makes me wonder if it's Brazil. Brazil. Which side of the road do Brazilians drive on? Is anyone, is anyone in here from Brazil? Or how many people in here right now are from uh, South America? They drive on the right. So I, that's it, precisely why I'm going backwards, because I want to be confused. There's a sign here. What does the sign say? S Something about long vehicles. That looks like Spanish. You're Brazilian. So this is Portuguese. Oakley, is this, is this Portuguese? <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it or take someone's word for it. Yes, it is. So I just want you to know, if you get this right, you are probably going to win. The last time we did South America, everyone did so poorly. 
that uh, this is probably way off. Whatever. We're going to go for it. Yeah. You do. You. You. Wow. I never realized the scale of Brazil until you do this and you're like, you go, wow, 1,376 miles away. That is monstrous. Brazil is huge. Um, wow. <laughs> you were almost within, uh, Brazil is huge. Wow. Impressive. The, the scale of the country is really impressive. 2000 kilometers away. <laughs> Uh, eat Krispy Kreme. First place. Nice work. I think the other thing about going to South America makes me, it makes me realize how similar portions of South America are to North America, but they're just different. Like this to me looks like it could be Arizona where I just was. Things are just a little bit different. Uh, Brazil isn't as uh, well. I mean, the U.S. is huge. The U.S. is ridiculously massive. I mean, I, I, when I was in when I was in uh, when I was in Arizona to get home, it would have been a twenty four hour drive if I would have just driven straight through. I was two thousand miles away from home. Um, northernmost point in Brazil is closer to Canada than the southernmost point. <laughs> Is it Brazil again? That's what I've been wondering. Doesn't look. The problem with South America is that the, this geo is we, we keep ending up in a rural area <laughs> with very few points of reference for anything. You were in the Amazon and people would take a couple of weeks to get on a boat. You know what? I'm going to keep picking the same place in Brazil. And hopefully, it ends up being right at some point. <laughs> Got closer. Got closer. Good for 46. <laughs> Bingo. Excellent work. Excellent work. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to do better. We're going to have to do better. Eat Krispy Kreme. You're ninth. You're doing well. You're doing well. Icy sixth. All right. We're in a city. Love to see it. Okay. So now I feel like we have a fighting chance to figure out where we are. Uh, cafeteria. This is Spanish for sure. Chicken. Um... I'd like some chicken right now. That sounds good. <laughs> Is it Spanish? I still, there's nothing giving away the location at any of these buildings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, that was, that was. Oh, that's in Spain. That doesn't, that's not helpful. Colombia, Bogota. You know what? I'm going to just select it for now. I mean, it felt like that was a very upscale restaurant. 319. That's going to help somebody. I have a feeling, yeah, it's Bogota. The real question is where in Bogota? And we don't have enough time to figure it out, but. Oh, there's a street sign. We'll go. Uh, uh, tried to move it. Not not good enough. Oh, look at that. Almost 5,000. 14 miles away. Problem is, everyone did that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got it. You got it, DJ. Love it. Uh, but where in Bogota? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> once you, that's the thing. Not enough time. Like, once you finally figure out where you are, it's like, oh, and here's another one of these. It's very pretty. Sunset. I really, yeah, I dig it. The roads are different. So this isn't Brazil based on the roads alone. So which country has white center lanes? Looks like Kansas. It really does. Beautiful though. The, the sunset or the, uh, the time of day. 
Oh, oh. What is this? It's like we're in a mud storm. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got out of it. We got out of it. <laughs> Entered the matrix. <laughs> yeah, it is it is Kansas with a tornado. Cattle crossing the road. Got, saw that exact same sign in Arizona. Well, where is the flattest place in all? Is this Argentina? It is super flat. I feel like it has to be Argentina because there are large plains there. I wish that I could turn on uh, some sort of terrain view, though. So this is the mountains. I'm going to say it's... I have no idea. I haven't seen any road signs, but I'll at least... That's what we're going to guess. Right there. Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm going to take that. 3,000 points feels good. 29. Feeling good about that. Uh, Jess Jesco. Nice work. Bingo, too. Six. Excellent work. Icy, sixth. Uh, RJ Rems. Nice work. And Juan. Excellent work. Final round. I think it's anyone's game at the top. Anyone's game at the top. Uh, you're struggling here, Ali? <laughs> Argent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. San Miguel. Silver Moon. Oh, oh, oh. Sistema? Uh, they, they, why did they block that? Oh, okay. Lima, it's Peru. Okay, now where are we in Peru? Not Peru, but Peru. Where are we in Peru? It looks like a it's an interesting place so far. Um, man, what a wide road though. To just kind of there's a lot going on here. Looks like near the heart of Lima. Lots of subpar cars. <laughs> there's a district in Lima called. Uh, San Miguel. Okay, and that's what we saw that. We saw that. 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Right here. Right by the water. Oh, and look at They love grids in uh, in Lima as well. And in, in, in Peru. Airport. 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 Airport ahead. Where's the, where's the airport? Where's the airport? Oh, there's an airport sign. Oh, oh, right there, right there. Close enough. I will not as close as everyone else, apparently. <laughs> Good for 28th place overall. Jesco, nice work. Bingo. Nice work. Uh, thank you guys for the help with that one. That was a, that was a good one. Uh, bingo, 6-1. Excellent game. Good game, everybody. Good game. You stayed in sixth place, I see. Nice work. Jet Mike, good game to you too as well. Uh, you just know the beer. <laughs> uh, uh yeah, rj fifth place excellent excellent work that was it i really enjoyed that one so i was i was a little nervous the first couple were out in rural brazil that's that's a tough one but that was a lot of fun so excellent work everybody okay okay i am going to we are going to be transitioning over to a raid so i want everyone to say goodbye to uh youtube give them a heart Where's Banjo? Banjo. We'll give a uh, I will give Banjo one more treat for YouTube. He doesn't care anymore. He's done. <laughs> so we will uh say goodbye to YouTube and then raid our friend Vainglorious Gaming. So thank you so much, YouTube, for being it. Vert Vert Kitty, you were in last again. Is that what I'm is that what I'm reading? You're consistent? Well, thank you for playing anyway. Appreciate you. And next time, next time we'll get it. So very, very good. And of course, now Banjo's moving around. So we'll get, we'll, we'll, uh, well, there he is. There he is. So we'll say goodbye. Bye, YouTube. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the super chats that you gave. And thank you for uh, hanging out. Appreciate you all. And thank you for everyone from YouTube who jumped on over to Twitch to hang out and chat. Appreciate you all. Um, we will say goodbye to YouTube. And 